Gay sex. Well, last time I was on a podcast was the Christmas episode. Uh, uh oh yeah, the extra, the one where we did live on which YouTube. I think that was a good episode. But you guys, I liked the ending now. where we were all doing our own thing. Matthew was like spinning. You were that's such a good. You ending. were dancing. Stephen was ranting as Neil deGrasse Tyson, and he was like, oh, "All yeah. right, it's Neil deGrasse." Tyson. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Yeah, I wasn't for that, I remember Neil deGrasse Tyson, but I don't remember anything else about that episode. Well, I just remember it sucked. It didn't suck. It was pretty good. <laughs> Well, I guess it was okay. We're, we're back. Good luck, podcast. Um, we are back. Episode, uh, episode 40, 43. Three, yeah. 43. 43. And um, we have a solid setup here. I forgot to tell someone to... Um, well, we have Andrew, so we don't need... Because hmm? I was going to get Matthew to send a video like Dusty did, but then I just forgot, so yeah, 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 yeah. nothing statement. But we'll get him to do it next time. Yeah, yeah next time. He'll be uh, back home this weekend. I talked to him earlier, so... Nice. Okay. Well, we have Andrew here, so yeah, everyone stop the presses. We have Andrew. Uh, what's been going on, Andrew? Um, well, uh, last time I was on this podcast, I was majoring in computer science, but that is fourth. I don't know a word for it, but it, I, I've switched. I've switched to chemical engineering. You've showered. Mm-hmm. You've taken a shower. I did take a shower. <laughs> it took me about. Um, Finally, took a shower. I'll, I'll, I'll say it took me about a, a good eight months for that. For so. to take a shower. Eight eight months of gunk <laughs> just down a dorm drain. It's gone now. But that's well, awesome. I, I I switched to chemical because like I was not enjoying computer science at all. No, it sucks. It does suck. And anyone who has to do it, I feel bad for you because you probably have a lot of money going into that, and you should drop out. Don't <laughs> drop it. <laughs> but uh, okay. computer science just sucked because they weren't teaching it. I wasn't understanding it. Um, and I don't know. And I was looking into stuff I think I enjoyed. So like um, I took AP environmental science my senior year and I liked the engineering, not engineering. I liked the energy stuff we talked about and nuclear engineering seems like my thing to do. So I'm minoring in nuclear systems and I get to go to our power plant in November. So that'll be He gets to be That's radiated cool. and come out with blue skin. I wish. I really wish. But the only thing is that it never got turned on. So there's no radiation. Oh, I was gonna bring boy. back a rod. I was gonna bring back a rod for the, uh, the Simpsons special. uranium. We yeah, can't them. come out with like three years and five eyes. Or... <laughs> it's like it's like the gif of Homer dropping that rod down like a power plant. Yeah. But oh, literally. dropping is literally. Uh, but yeah, what were you? You I didn't know you took environmental science. Was that like difficult? Yeah. No, because I wanted to take it. It's, it's it wasn't wait, bad. in high school. That's the easiest in AP school, course I think according to to College Board. It's either that or AP. Uh, not Gov, but Geo, like or AP Psych, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But AP Environmental, uh, at where we went was it wasn't too bad. We just did a lot of experiments. Like really, mm-hmm. we went. Uh, we got our cars and we put like this like funnel thing over the 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 back of them or whatever, and we turned them on, and then we got to see what color they turned the water to see like pollution or something. It was pretty cool. Oh, I remember seeing those in the yeah. Stream. And we also got to make our own farm and then eat all the food we made on our farm, like in class. So it was pretty cool. What was was that? What, you, what was yours like? Mine. Um, we mainly just went over a PowerPoint and took notes, and then I would, uh, you know, I would just fall asleep in class because I didn't want to pay attention. And so I just take the notes afterwards, uh, um, do my weekly assignment, uh, get it from someone else before class. Yeah. Or no, 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 no. I wouldn't turn it in on the day of class, <laughs> and then I would wait until seventh period just to go turn it in then. Yeah, and uh, she would still take it. So, uh, that's weird. I I remember a lot from the class, but I really, um, I really didn't like try at it at all. Like it was super easy. Yeah, I, I, I like doing the experiments. I was just shit at the test, and I got like a two, I think, on the AP exam Mm -hmm. or something. I'm pretty sure I did. I did not. I didn't look, but I'm just gonna say I got a two. Um, but I enjoyed the class, and the teacher actually taught us stuff and did experiments. That's what was fun about it. I did, uh, I think, one experiment on soil. That's, I don't remember doing any other experiments for yeah. that class. We, uh, uh, but yeah, I'm taking chemistry right now. Whoa, it sucks. It, I'm taking. Are you in Chem 1030? Yeah, I'm. Oh, different. okay. You have a different uh-huh. teacher than me, but <laughs> my teacher makes one of chem myself. What does she do? Tell me about it. Oh, he, it's not a she. It's a he. Oh, even more. Uh, what he does is it's a you. it's a flipped classroom. <laughs> So this is mean, so nice. I'm just like listening. I don't. I don't have to like contribute to the conversation or think of anything. Hey, He's gonna, hey, what classes uh, are you taking, sir? Oh, no. you see this? I'm not Fuck complaining. You. I'm not complaining. It's like nice. He's complaining. This He's is like a no. podcast. We're gonna talk about this as soon as the camera goes off, and it's not. We're guys. This next is the last next episode. Week, episode's not gonna come up. 
We're gonna be arguing. One person isn't gonna be here. <laughs> yeah, it's, we know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, so what, what's wrong with your chem teacher? Well, it's a it's a flipped classroom. What does that mean? So most of the time, it means that uh, you have to watch videos before class, come to class, and do nothing. Well, he almost sometimes decides to. Okay. What Shut up about the fucking <laughs> pea shooter, you son of a bitch. Fucking, the most, like, what does that mean? Oh, oh no, well, actually, it's a classroom. Hold on, can we pull that? down that force, but it just reminded it me of did. the pea it shooter did. guy. No, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, outside of my fucking psychotic brain that remembers the pea shooter guy, it just they, sounded like that. They sounded like scripted Wait, audio. Oh, my God. Hold on. I, know what I, you're know what you're talking about. I think I can find it. God, someone put sent it earlier. They uh, we're probably we probably lost every viewer from talking about school. I don't. I really. So don't. I hate you. No, I I'm think kidding. we're about to lose negative viewers if we watch this fucking oh, video. Someone invite the Gulag YouTube to Spunkmire. I'll do it. I, I don't know if I have the authority to, but I'll try. Oh, fuck. See. All right, let me just log here, in. No, I'll, I'll, I'll look. Let me see. Someone else talk about something because y'all are y'all are having a good uh, conversation. Can you, can you do a long rec talk? Yeah. While you just yeah, yeah, here I, in the podcast at all? Like, can you yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, we'll figure it out. It's, a, just talk. it's a flip classroom, so right. he doesn't lecture in the lecture. Yeah, and uh, no ass. that makes it hard for me to to understand. It's normally me and my my uh, one friend. We get together mm -hmm. and do the homework, and um, oh yeah, we go to SI meetings sometimes. I guess I guess you make it work, but uh. Yeah, it's super easy to get behind because uh, attendance is not necessary, mm. and uh, when I'm not being taught in that class, it makes, makes me just not want to go there. So yeah, but um, I mean the, the the professor, the guy is like fine, like he's chill. Like I've asked some yeah. questions and he explained it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just um, my lecturer person is a female, so that's probably why she's easier. No, well, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta like this joke up there. Anyway, um, so well, what she does is every time you take notes in class, she doesn't send the notes on after, so you have to go, otherwise you don't get any notes. That's just annoying. Like, I, the first, it is pretty show. annoying. But because it was like, what if you miss something on the notes? No, I actually might go. Thanks. Okay, so we're just, we were talking, you know, we can continue with that. Okay. <laughs> no, we gotta finish watch. your conversation before. I, I, I kind of just want to see this now. This is, this is, this is I, I, I've seen it, man. Don't worry. You guys, this is it. what they sounded like. Yeah. Back to plants for zombies. Why? So the pea shooter has many forms. Fire, ice, electric, shoot, even shadow. But recently there's been new mods that really need to be added to the game. So there's three, and the first one is Bendy. He shoots wrenches. Look at this. Oh, that's sick. But why not ink? Dude, wait, that's actually a good idea. But look at this one. Oh, they should actually add that. Yeah, the game would go viral. But look at this. It's John Pork. No, I'm what? Not. <laughs> Just kidding. Actually, look at this one. Is that an Enderman? Yeah, it's an Ender P. It shoots Minecraft blocks. No, I actually might sound like. I was gonna say in about five years when we're. Is there more? Of no. 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 It's no. A wait, yes. It's wait, a content yes. form. No, this please, is I'm content begging you. Form. No, please, please go on. Go back to the. I will go back to the reels. Go back. Skibbity toilets about to give us exactly what we want. Dude, are they coming to Netflix? No. no. Listen. After the scientists upgraded the toilet army, they unleashed job application. Go back to reels. Uh, yeah. yeah. But this time, something different happened. God. Sucks. It's a content. I'm telling you, do not do this TikTok. I mean, YouTube Shorts. I keep calling them reels. Same it's like, shit. It's like the forced fucking conversations you have in a. Serge, go to shorts. Yeah. Go to shorts. So this, what this is about. We gotta figure out about pea shooter shooting ink. The three best pork. He has a mega hat in this one. Oh, oh, Fortnite God, islands to play with your friends, starting with only up, but with a twist. You will have to progress through different eras, like dinosaurs, Egyptians, but. Skibbity Toilet's about to give us exactly what we want. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, Rainbow Friends messed up. All their characters... Oh, well, how is there a white light? Oh, iPhone 15 will easily be the best... Or do they just no, make sure they as if they're in the... I think they... Pretty minute one a second ago. Was that the only oh, one? Right here, let me go back. There's no yeah, way. go back. There, iPhone 15 will easily... There's other just look it up on the that will again. post, like, videos like this that looks like... No, I swear. Here, go to the most popular. Go back up. I swear Next I saw... Point, on this channel, a 40-minute video would not be the most popular. Okay, I guess you're right. Go then, then just search it again. I I saw it in the the most or recent reply. Forty. Minutes. I mean, they all yeah. look like a no. Look Jojo, it. Fortnite, Wait. Jojo. Oh my god. We're, point, we're to fucker. Point. point. No, go to the search bar and press enter. Even research even I, it. would be revived by Jojo. Did you know that? Look. Uh, shut yeah, up. Go down. Right there. This um, isn't them. This is, this is second like, drama. I thought that was them. This is. Oh, you want to watch a drama podcasting. stream, Andrew? You want to watch a drama stream? I'm good. Uh, I'm. I'll, I'll. I'll pass. Yeah. No. <laughs> this is. 
Like they're they're Andrew Tate podcast type accounts that just post clips that are only clips. They don't actually do a whole podcast. They just post it's like random. It's so crazy to so, get views. The, the bendy shooters are, are, are a lot better than the female bendy shooters. I know the game would go viral. It would go viral. Plants vs Zombies would go viral. Plants From when, would go viral. when did it come? I don't know. Like 2005. I, yeah, for real. 2009. Oh my gosh, they only started their channel a year ago. Wait. Uh oh. This looks like. And that's gonna be it. It's 2017 Dreamhack. Oh, they nope. talked about it. Like, actual wait, stuff. this guy, you put effort into his video. Atlanta is here. Big third, lose time. Minute and a half. Smash and splash. This turning. That's decent effort. Look at that. I'm telling you, do not do this TikTok trend. Another. A video about Smash Bros wouldn't get a lot of views like YouTube Shorts would, like Skibbity Toilet would. Only fucking sweaty Smash players would watch that video. You man, secret plan. Oh my gosh, that's his like least watched videos too. The that's ones crazy. he tried on. Well, I think that's, he found the algorithm. That's so sad. I think he found his algorithm, guys. Good Just, lord. He's, he's got he beat the algorithm. He did beat the up. algorithm. You sir have won the internet today. Anyway. Oh, here they are. Here they are. No. I don't want to watch this, man. Ever since he, he got the token white guy to join, <laughs> this channel hasn't been the same. Oh, no. What does he have to? Well, don't bring him into what, this. What is he, he does, does kind of like, does kind of look like his, holy shit. Okay, he vaguely yeah. He looks like exactly like Steve look at Bouchard. the bottom left. It's, okay, they're that the, bottom the left one. one. The middle one. The middle one, one. one looks like Steve okay, Buscemi. yeah, yeah. That looks like something from Inglorious Bastards. Nope, that's not the right movie. But you from know. Reservoir Dogs. The sunken Reservoir Dogs. Eyes. It's the eyes it and the nose. And lips. Kind and of the lips. It's pretty much everything. If we could just get Steve Buscemi on the podcast, guys, please. That'd be so crazy. Can someone do an impression of Steve Buscemi real quick? Steve Buscemi, save us. Steve Buscemi. Shut up. Save us. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. No, he's he's, he's, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. What is save the context him. in that video? I think he's, he's being pulled over. He's yeah. being pulled over. A and he's a fucking so lunatic. A police no. officer. It's Donald Trump. Please save us. It's a black Donald woman Trump. police officer, and he's like praying to Donald Wait, Trump. It's I didn't funny see that kid. far. I just saw the cops like tear his door open. Well, I don't think that's the reason, but I think it's just situationally funny. Donald Trump. Please, Donald Trump. Oh, please, 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 Oh my they're, god. They're, they're I, think, I think he's refusing to like open the door or yeah. something. Yeah, bro. He's just open no, the door. Okay. Donald Trump saving. Yeah, as if Donald Trump is saving from the building. Trump. Trump. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> what, 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 you could just open the Could it just, just broken the bottom of it, open the door from the inside, but I thought it cool like that. I think that's what they're about to do. They're watching him that his God was real and would interfere. His God? I'm not doing anything, sir. Yes, you are. You're refusing to back the car. I'm a believer in the Lord. I'm the Lord's child. I'm I thought you were the Lord. Lord. Donald Trump. That, 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 okay, can you look up? Um, lady uh, turns uh, a parking ticket into like a a, a felony or something. It, it's it's crazy. Actually, that'd be interesting. Um, basically, this lady. Welcome to the Gulag. There it is. Yes, game. there it is. Okay, don't watch the one. This is a better version of it. So pause it. I'll give context. So yeah, this lady, I guess, gets pulled over for like a ticket, an eighty dollar ticket, and um, I, and she just like thinks it's kind of bullshit, and she just takes matters into her own hands. So let's watch it. Well, I did issue a for a defective equipment. It's eighty dollars. I have to send it to. I guess like a fucking. For the audio listener, just watch. We're not describing shit. Sorry, mom. Oh, do we not do that anymore? Uh, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> we can describe it, but it's a lady getting pulled over with body cam footage. I'll go to news for you. She doesn't want to sign it. I mean, like, you have to sign it. Like, you muted it? Yeah, so. Wow. Oh, yeah, I guess we. Oh, I guess I killed myself. It's, it's, the audio is kind of funny. This video is going to be so cringe. Or a bit cringe to me out. Because, like, what are you gaming? If you really want to, like, 
Yeah. Do some shit against a, a cop, take it to court. Yeah. Like that's where yeah, that's where cops get fucked over. Yeah. Well, sometimes. Oh, and then she goes. She's gone. She's gone. I got pulled over driving here, and the cop was very polite. Yeah, I feel like it well, it's because you didn't refuse to. Well, I did draw my gun. So you also. <laughs> no, look at this shit. He pulls her out. He takes. They they didn't show up. But oh, oh she's trying. Did you just wait? Like kick my shit. Look at this. <laughs> you can't get tased. That's oh. hilarious. Kid. I've never seen anyone get tased. Like on camera, like that would try. No, no, it was pretty funny. Uh, I mean, that's like the first time I've like seen it just raw like that. I don't know. I, I, I thought that was you when you were showing the Trump thing. I thought of that. Um, but yeah, don't refuse a cop's thing, or you're just gonna get in more trouble. I got pulled over three months ago because apparently I was reckless driving, ran over a truck. No, I'm joking. But <laughs> um, basically, I, I like turned into some. I, oh, okay. I remember. It was like big traffic. I like this light. Mainly. Big traffic. Yeah, mm-hmm. big traffic. I'm not a proponent of big, big traffic. They need to stop what they're doing. Um, but uh, I, I like there was cars coming up, and it's kind of hard to describe. The light was green, but there were cars like filling up that whole part in front of the light, like the light in front of it. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. And I pulled in, and a cop saw me, and he chased me—not chased me, but he like followed me into my like neighborhood and pulled me over. And he gave me a warning, so I didn't get a ticket. So did he wait till you like got to your house, or like he got he waited until I got into like uh like a suburban, well, like somewhere you can pull, pull over. Yeah, it's like that. Remember that? I, I'm not gonna dox myself, but do you remember that one dip where that you? Oh yeah, 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 where it I, just fucks your car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, they filled it actually. If you go back, there. oh, that's no, good. No, no more. That's good because Jesus, <laughs> I remember being in Steven's car when we went over that fucking like rocket. Yeah, he rocked my entire car. But he pulled me over there. I sat there for a good fifteen minutes waiting for him to tell me something. And then he's like, "You seem like a good kid. I'm going to let you off with a warning. You're not going to get a ticket or something." And yeah, I got really lucky. That was the only time I've been pulled over. I've gotten into two accidents. Though. Really? Yep. First one, I guess I'll say it. So my roommate Max, uh, I think I might have told you or something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember you telling me about one. I'm sorry. Um, but I re- so I it was like the first time driving. I went to high school. Wait, is this a like? Season one story? I remember this. If if so, I I won't tell it. No, tell it for sure because that was 42 episodes ago. I guess so. It might might have been actually because... I think it was. It was. Because that that was the year that we first did the podcast. No, it was a couple months after because we did it in 2019, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, But this happened January 2020. Uh, Wait. What day? Where were you on January January sixth, twenty twenty entry? Where were you? Yeah, where were you? Where were you? I actually could find out. I think <laughs> he was in the Capitol. Look at the footage. He was in the Capitol. <laughs> I remember. I remember seeing Andrew climbing over the wall. Yeah, stuff. I remember him shitting on We've Pelosi's all desk. Seen the footage. That's how the accident happened. I didn't want to say that though. But <laughs> he, he ran over. He a... ran over seven people in the Capitol on mm-hmm. January. They were asking for it, and yeah. then he he got away with it. You know those like you know those like um, yellow uh, stopping things in GTA that you would always run over. Yeah, that's what yeah. those people reminded me. <laughs> 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 I fell over pretty easily. Too. <laughs> um, but so I I went to high school. It was like a I'll say it green and white. We might need a blue tie. No. Oh my gosh, green and white. I'm gonna fucking shoot myself I'm like the guys. <laughs> It was our school spirit day. Yeah, school spirit day for uh, winter sports. And I was, me and my roommate Max were doing tennis, doing up tennis. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I pull in to the parking lot and I'm, it's, it's fine. I'm listening to that one banana. What, what's that song with like the banana on it? And it's like a video game song. My friend Pedro. You were listening to the My Friend Pedro soundtrack. The, while, while, when it happened, That's yeah. That's such an Andrew thing to do because you don't listen That's to so music crazy. lyrics. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I never don't do it now. But basically, I uh, I pulled into the parking lot and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to park here. And uh, so I, I pull in. I, I My car just starts jumping around it as I turn in. I obviously scraped the side of this person's car. Mm. And it, it turns out to be Max's car. I got super fucking lucky. But the funny thing is, is that he got that car about a week before that. Oh, happened. it was like brand new. Yep. I think didn't you just get your car too? I got it. I got mine back in August, but I didn't drive it until just in like January. Mm. Okay. Because I didn't get my license for a bit. But I there's probably I could probably find a picture of me and Max looking at the car because I I look pretty distraught. That's That's funny. funny. I could say the other one too, but basically, I was driving to my my a tennis match actually, and uh, I'm on the highway. I'm listening to a song without lyrics again. 
And it's a sign. I know it is. I, I'm gonna yeah, stop maybe playing you tennis. Yeah. <laughs> stop, yeah. Stop, yeah. stop doing up tennis. So, <laughs> there are I'm doing. three variables here, and it's you, tennis, and my friend non lyric music. And yeah. <laughs> Basically, I'm on the highway to get to my tennis match, and uh, I'm not looking where I'm going. I, I, I was. I'm not going to say I wasn't. He was on his phone. He was Snapchatting. He was just watching YouTube video like horizontally in front of his face. Video. Anyway. But uh, that was cringe. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, hear what you I didn't get a reaction, so I had to say it anyway. But uh, I was driving, and uh, I think it was a blind spot or something, because I I suddenly merge into another lane, and I hear something. I'm like, maybe that wasn't anything. Maybe it was like a piece of shrapnel on the ground or something. Mm -hmm. And then this guy comes up next to me, and he's like, pull over, pull over. I'm like, oh fuck, I fucked up really bad. See so oh, his shit. car like on the interstate. So I, I apparently I sideswiped him, but it wasn't bad, and I got so lucky because usually when you hit someone's car, they're really fucking pissed, and they like want. This guy was so nice. He was like 60. He just didn't want any trouble. He was just doing the regular thing, calling the cops and taking a picture of my license plate. But he was really nice. And yeah, I felt so bad after it um, that's lucky i know and uh i didn't drive for a bit after that i think um but yeah that was pretty bad i remember that um apparently my car was not um dented at all which is kind of yeah crazy. you drive a huge you drive a fucking tank dude yeah. I just, when i was i was i was failing to park it when i first got here um i just it doesn't turn it has no torque it's like <laughs> does it have like a, a shitty turn radius yes Every time, no matter how hard you turn it, I turn. I have to like adjust it every five minutes. It sucks. That sucks. I I I I got unlucky, but my brakes are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's actually a third accident. I, got I, I think the third God. one is the one that you told yes, me about. He's so. uninsurable, folks. Yes, and I actually got kind of lucky with this one too. So. <laughs> <laughs> for a good reason i'll say why we listen to a song with no lyrics again no i was actually listening to um, were you on the way to a tennis match no i'll say what it was so i was listening to a song with lyrics i forgot what song i think it was baby came trademark usa or something i don't know it was a song with lyrics that's all yeah that. anyway so the <laughs> what fuck i'm can continue okay <laughs> just reminded me of something obscure again okay <laughs> um but i was i was actually driving for the first time to auburn ah, who gives a shit um yeah uh, I was driving to college for the first time to move in, and uh, I we pull up at this light, like uh, pr probably like a mile away from where I need to be, mm -hmm. and uh, I get to this light, and I I brake, I brake, I remember braking, and I hit the back of my parents' car, but their car had like the like on their um, rear end had like a protection thing or something, so mm -hmm. no damage done to them at all. But my nice. bumper was fucked, but it was my parents' car, so nothing bad really happened. Nice. We just kept driving, and I. Did not say a word after that. <laughs> that was it. I was shell shocked. It was pretty bad, but they were chill about it, so it was fine. But it took a bit. My brakes are better now. They weren't good back then, but they are good now. So yeah, the only time I've ever hit another car is I backed into my mom's car, but her car is like shitty and from two thousand five. So to say, <laughs> the car's worth like a thousand dollars. So I think <laughs> that's I probably that's okay. probably decreased the value to like negative something. <laughs> but it, it's we. You have gonna, to pay someone to take the car. No, I mean the the car's fine. But what? Yeah, I mean we'd have to sell. <laughs> we're gonna sell it for scrap if we ever get rid of it. Like just crazy. donate it to like the police department or something. I was, mm -hmm. I was gonna say a better call Saul quote. Do you remember in the very first episode, he's like, "The only way that car is worth five hundred dollars if there's a three hundred dollar hooker on that." Oh yeah, you remember? I, I remember that. Uh, That's funny. Have you seen Better Call Saul? No, I haven't, I haven't ever finished Breaking Bad either. No, I need. I, I now that you finished Breaking Bad, you should definitely watch it. It's so That's how much shit I need to watch, mm. and. uh I don't know. I re I finished. I've told this a million times, but I finished Breaking Bad after stopping, and I thought it was fucking amazing. I remember how much shit I gave you for it after. I remember yeah, being I in a call, and you were like, "I'm just not gonna watch it because I already know everything." Well, because happens. fucking uh, that's kind of valid, but also it was, was also invalid because I hadn't seen it, and I did like it, even though I got spoiled a bunch. Yeah, so I, that just proves how good the show is. I think. I think when I first watched it, I knew what was gonna happen. Season four, episode fourteen. Dude, I knew. It's, well. Steven and I watched that together. Um, yeah. And we thought, oh, yeah. Because we were like, okay, this is the scene where, spoiler alert for fucking oh, Breaking oh, Bad. Oh, I, I haven't seen it. You know you that, know that Gus is. dies. Oh, duh. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry. This show's been out for like over almost 20 years. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't seen that Gus died yet, you're but living under our Steve and I were watching that together. And then he walks out and we're like, what the fuck? He's not dead. And then he was. Dead. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I hadn't seen the actual thing. The actual yeah. Clip. And it was cool as fuck. Okay. We both thought that was really sick. I know uh, I keep telling stories, but basically, when I guess when I was like, let's see, when was I? You're watching? acting like it's bad. Wait a minute. On a Wait a minute. Stories on a thing where we tell stories. Dude. Yeah. What the hell? But Uncalled for. Right. But okay. I was, <laughs> let's see. The show came out 
when when did that episode come out? Like twenty twelve, I guess. Probably, probably two thousand ten. Well, probably yesterday. I it was. Yeah, it doesn't true. matter. But anyway, so I was alive for this, but I wasn't there. But my dad had a birthday party, and it was Breaking Bad themed, and he had oh, like. Yeah, it's cool. I'm not kidding. I I don't know. I if can it's... only imagine it was cool. Your parents yeah. throw good at yeah, parties for real. They really do. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I, I your fucking Fourth of July party every year. Oh yeah, it's funny. Um, another thing. About... I th- I could think of something else for that, but um, he he had like the I think it was like a blue cake, like the meth. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I, I need to that find pictures crazy. of that, but that's funny. Um, me speaking of you and him watching the mask off or face off, sorry, episode. Well, you and me watched the end, the last episode of Better Call Saul. Oh. Do you remember that? Yeah, we watched yeah, it over. We, we watched it over a call together. And, no, we you were in the middle of watching it, and we watched the very end. And I, yeah, it was the part that I wanted you to see. Yeah, we, or it was pretty cat, but yeah. Better Call Saul is very good. And people who say it's bad in the first... What do they say is bad? I don't remember the first two seasons because I watched it so long ago, but I feel like it was slow. Although I continued watching, so clearly it kept me My, I think I think the stuff... Well, it's not really a spoiler, but the stuff with Mike in season one, I think, kept the show alive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, there, it's also like every other episode, there's like a little heist. Mm-hmm. So like you... It really keeps you invested because they really build up to it, and then there's like a good payoff. Yeah, I agree. It's It's a good show. And I was speaking of like shows that are kind of old now. Office is getting a reboot. I feel like you guys oh, already talked about it. We did uh, mention we, this. Did we, we didn't talk about it, but we mentioned it. I think we mentioned it because it seems ass. I don't know any details I haven't seen on any it, of it. Show of the Douchebags is back. Uh, unpopular opinion most reboots of fucking like sitcoms and mm. like shit like that are just bad. And I'm, I'm not a huge fan of sitcoms. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I've never watched that 70s show. I've never seen Full House. Like, that's some well, show. I've just heard that the fucking reboots are garbage. Oh like, my gosh! Yeah, the the that '90s show reboot is not very good. I was gonna say, I did actually. We have somewhere at home. I think we have like a a, a DVD set of all the Full House seasons, yeah. which is kind of. I remember. You remember that? I feel like I remember talking to you about this before. But uh, Fuller House sucks. Fuller House is, it is bad. It's, it's really bad. bad. Speak your shit. When that shit came out. You just reminded me of that. I'm sorry. I d- Fuck you. I didn't know you've seen even Full House. That doesn't even seem I, like something you'd want to watch. I've seen Full House. I've seen That's all crazy. Full House, yeah. Because it would come on Nickelodeon. It was just like late night. It, it was Nickelodeon. I forgot I've never that. seen a single episode. I don't know a single thing about it. It wasn't that bad as a kid, but I feel like if I went back and watched it, the laugh track would become unnerving. Speaking of which, also Friends. Yeah. Fuck that show, and it's also getting a well, reboot. See, but wasn't a Full House in front of a live studio audience, though? Was it? I have no idea. No, I don't. Okay. I just remember there being a laugh track. I think it's. I weird. could be wrong about that. I think I'm it's weird when there's a laugh track and there's no audience. But if there is an audience, I understand it. Um, but yeah, Fuller House sucks. I liked Full House as a kid, though. It was pretty good. Um, fucking Fuller House, though. They the so the, fucking trash. The, you remember the kid that was like, "You got it, dude." You remember that? Yeah. They 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 shoehorned her involvement in the new remake as like she had a broken arm, so she can't be on the show or something. Bruh. What? Yeah, and she wasn't ever on the show ever. Anyway, but yeah, uh, that's stupid. Yeah, The Office sucks. Fuller House sucks. Okay, so I guess you were right. It was in a live studio. Obviously. See, I know more about the show than you do. Oh, yeah. Okay, Friends. Uh, Bart. I guess I'll. No, well, but the Friends laugh track is like you've seen the the YouTube the videos not without the laugh track. Where they take yeah. it out. And it's just not funny. No, I I agree. I think sometimes it's vital, but because it's especially just... bad on shit like Big Bang Theory. I think that one's worse. I think that one might be worse than Friends. Big Big Theory. It, it can't be hard to make a show in front of a studio audience if you want to, but it's just weird to put the laugh track if well, there's no one. Have you ever listened to like the them without when they take out the laugh track? Yeah, it yeah. sounds unnerving. It's yes, scary. Every time they make an yeah. uncomfortable joke, there's no laughs. There's no. It's it just makes silence. I, I think it was a thing of Full House where uh, I, mean, I don't know any of the characters, but. Yeah. It was like somebody making like a kind of creepy like joke, but that was the joke. But then without the laugh track, it's just it's like just like weird. It was just strange. Yeah, they like, they just stared at him for five. There's years. a yeah. There's an Always Sunny episode where they like they put a laugh track over like hidden camera footage of their moms, and like it's funny because they're saying like evil shit. They're like, "I'm gonna kill you," like <laughs> that blunt, and they put a laugh track over it. So it's it's See, hilarious. Can we I watch think, that after this? I think, I'm down. Yeah, I think Sunny is probably like Sunny or um. No, what other shows without laugh tracks are good? Arrested Development, Community. Those are my top three favorite sitcoms. Okay, I haven't seen any of them. Malcolm in the Middle. 
Malcolm, Malcolm in the Middle, middle is amazing. Fucking I watched show. I watched that one episode where the buff guys were following. I love that Frank yeah. Yeah. dude. That's that's crazy enough. Uh, I was trying to get Stevie to watch it, and uh, he hasn't. He was like against it. He was like, "I'll only watch this one episode." And <laughs> go ahead. to go watch that episode. Go ahead. <laughs> so we can upset the honey. It's so funny. It was, it's strange because I had like you know how we we oh my gosh I can't talk. We've been watching it progressively. Yeah. yeah. But like it was fucking weird to see the other kid like in the in the like fuck what is it called the preview. Oh yeah. For the season I was like there's gonna was, like, be another. It's like that kid looks strange. Wait what? I'm confused. Don't they have another kid? Yeah. What? Do, what the do you baby? Mean? Like I haven't I hadn't seen that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that they had oh, another kid. Yeah. Up until I, that I was surprised yeah. by that too because I only watched up probably to like season four when I first watched it mm-hmm. and then yeah now Steven puts it on every time he's in here so I just like kind of have kept up as Steven watches it. Yeah, yeah. I've seen all of it and I've been rewatching it. I'm probably gonna have to start watching that because it's so funny. It, yeah, it really is great. It, it's it's still like funny. Like I it, feel like it is. There's some jokes that are very early 2000s but i don't think it's necessarily like yeah outdated like nothing nothing is like offensive it's just like it pushes the the line the offensive jokes are like similar to always sunny in the sense that they're like poking fun at like the absurdity of how offensive it is yeah yeah and like the the lack of insight of the character yeah exactly the lack of awareness where awareness a werewolfness also andrew there's we were watching an episode of like it was like in season six and it it was the dad brian cranston's character he started talking to this uh like homeless dude yeah and the homeless dude was the the guy from the lot in breaking bad yeah the the, 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 the magnets guy yeah Yeah. oh my god that's gonna say their first meetup i didn't know that i know it's weird it was was weird seeing them interact on the same screen walk the same way like yeah yeah he's also in friends he's the neighbor um, the upstairs neighbor and friends. Another uh, the best upstairs neighbor. Yeah, he's the best upstairs neighbor. <laughs> um, Brian Cranston was in um, Michael Richards show, so that was pretty cool. He was. That was the Ooh, first time we saw him. Was in <laughs> Seinfeld. 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 Yeah, I think I do know what you're talking about. Um, I, I think the first. I think I saw him talk about this on Hot Ones or something. But Wait, he was on Seinfeld. Yeah, I've never he, seen like too. You can many pull up the clip if you want. Wait, you didn't know Michael Richards was on. Se- no, no, no. I was going to say. I was like, Brian Cranston. Was like, um, oh, he was. <laughs> I, that's, that's what yeah, we're saying. What wait, said. wait, wait. What are you talking about? The new, the new pea shooter is Bendy? Wait. Oh my God. <laughs> Why is there it? It would make it oh, go viral. I've seen this. He looks fucking. Holy shit. Young. So young. Dr. Wiley's running a little late. I've seen this clip. It's it's pretty it's interesting. Distinguished you in. I think he's a recurring character after this, too. Oh, Seinfeld is unironically pretty funny. It's pretty funny. My dad has always wanted me to watch. There he is. It's strange. I can't really look at Kramer the same way though. Like it, <laughs> it's a little tough. I would I would be shocked if you didn't, or if you did look at. I have to see Kramer every day. Oh yeah, Kramer sits above Steven's toilet and watches him poop. I remember that. I remember that. When it, see, I was here. I remember. I remember. I remember when I put that up. Yeah. Oh look. Got, okay. This he looks the, like a young picture of this like, is him anybody's getting, dad, like the the oxygen or something. Wait, <laughs> yeah, that, is he like getting high off? That's of it? a stick or something. He, he gets high off the oxygen. He puts before. the oxygen mask. He takes the mask and puts it on him, and he, he tries to get high off of it. Dude, he looks so young. That's so Heisenberg, weird. and what's the deal with Heisenberg? <laughs> what's the deal with his blue mask? Why is it gotta be blue? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he poison the kid? <laughs> uh, Fifty years ago, we'll have you. Hog tied down with blue no- blue oh, meth up your nose. True. I would love to see him on that show, honestly. See what havoc he can create. Framer on uh, Breaking Bad. Framer and <laughs> going toe to toe with Gus. I toe to toe. I I don't know uh, that one. That would not go well. I don't think the show would have gone. We all know what he would say. Mm. You would say, he would because say something. Don't say something. Up. We're not. Don't, we we don't pull we that up. We can't see it. I remember. Okay, we'll replay this because I know you're gonna play. I it. think I think it'll bleep it out. It On most versions, it it does. Don't. It, it's muted. It's TMZ. It's 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 gonna. Uh, what oh, what an Put the audio on, you coward. Come on. <laughs> anyway, I was gonna say I remember when you guys first came over. Oh, uh, <laughs> when we first came over. When you guys came over to my house for like one of the first times, you played this full <laughs> this volume. The, this is the first thing we played on Andrew's yes. big ass projector. Yeah, fucking you played Michael it. Richards. Thank God no one was here. home. I'm pretty sure my siblings were home, so they probably heard it, but my parents weren't. Dude, just screaming the N word. Because it's so uncomfortable. It's like, got to be that whack ass haircut. Look at this it, fucking hair. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird because he like just keeps going. Like there's people fucking standing up and leaving. Yeah, and people like, like, I think this, this is funny as fuck. This is funny as fuck because 
people are making Same one way. of Michael Richards and then and then uh fuck what's Seinfeld or Letterman? He's he's literally he's like Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld's like stop stop making it's fun of him. He's going through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it's, really it's, find it. Yeah, it's it's the most I, I bet it's that. Yeah, here, let me. The Richards thing. Oh, well, mm-hmm. uh, no. Skip to where like a like, rage. I real bad. He looks fucking like decrepit and shit. Like yeah. he looks like he got shot. It looks like a photo, and uh, uh, <laughs> so this is Michael Richards' apology after saying the N word repeatedly during a stand-up show. Afro Americans too. Trashed. Oh, what? Is he clearly have Everyone's laughing. Early Richards. And what, uh, what would the, uh, the, 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 you were actually being heckled or were they just talking and disturbing the act? Uh, that was going on too. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and did you know I had to Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's gonna start saying something. I'm not even sure that this is, uh, where I should be, uh, addressing, uh, so, so uh you, the so situation. You, I've, I've already heard you make some jokes about it, and that's okay, you know, but I'm, <laughs> So comfortable. I'm, I'm really busted up over this, and I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, very, very sorry. Uh, to those uh, people in the audience, uh, the blacks, the Hispanics, whites, everyone that was there that took of that anger <laughs> and, and, and hate and rage and, and how it came through. And how it came I'm through? Concerned about Yellow more hate and more how many times have you guys watched this on the podcast? Uh, zero. Uh, Never. I've uh, seen this video so many times. Yeah. Not just towards me. Because, because be, it's like, it, uh, what makes someone snap like uh, that? Like, uh, like that's so strange. Uh, so just like ruin your career. Just, 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 even about even if he was racist, yeah. he just couldn't keep it together. So, I guarantee yeah, you, he was on something. Someone shaped a part of that race. That's you know that's fair. I feel like if someone was coked up on coke, they probably wouldn't give a fuck what they say. Yeah, it's pretty welcome to it. That looks like a coked up man. He's covering up his <laughs> arms. Uh, He's I'm cold. Sure he might get some of a comedy club and slip out. But as you can, <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> he looks like the what teacher who's like. So what? I called the kid the end. You know, you know the end. Yeah. Teacher? Open the door. <laughs> Close the door. Mm. <laughs> What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, them laughing is like them putting it's, the laugh track over Drake's like uh, TV dude, trial. I was gonna mention that earlier. Yeah, it, it it gives the same like type of vibe. Why are we watching this video? Everyone's seen this video. It's it's the teacher who's I just say, confused about saying the n word. I say it. I say it. I say it. I say it every day. Oh yeah, <laughs> this one's so what bell? Bell. bell. It could be Campana though, because he, Please. you know, you you know, you guys know what he did like after Nickelodeon, right? And like after all the allegation and section like, charges, what he went to South America and became like a uh, uh, music artist because he was already big that. with Bizarre, That's... the Hispanic community, wasn't he? Uh, I think he was. I don't know. I think I, no. I think his music was pretty big with the Hispanic community. But then he, he changed why his name he went to, down there. To, to Campana, which is Bell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it. It was like a form of rebranding to get away from all of uh, his, you know, I mean, pedophilia. Smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like that, you that go to any move, good yeah. business move, but morally, uh, yeah. I don't. Know. <laughs> fucking Nickelodeon <laughs> on the fucking iconic. Go- I'm living under a oh rock, my God. but like, what? What? Like, was it confirmed that he was like, like? Intentionally grooming kids for like years on end, or was it like I, a I think it was cynical esque yeah. mistake? No, I think it was. I think it was like, like genuine. Which is yeah, yeah, that's kind of pretty funny. sure Josh the or Josh Beck was basically confirmed it on a podcast or something. Yeah, or this uh, you could say this also just confirmed it. Yeah, we confirmed it. <laughs> this we this we is a Gulag podcast it. exclusive, guys. Breaking replace news. that Drake Nickelodeon foot bad. right now. Drake Drake Bell did something bad. Hey, guys, you got to hear about that Drake Bell yeah. or medication? No, sir. No, yeah. I mean, I've seen a psychologist, but I don't know if that's psychiatric treatment. I want to see what that framed photo in the bedroom is. Yeah, you think it's a tri- no, 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 on the on the wall. Do you think it's like a child or something? Yeah. I- we can't do this two episodes in a row. What, what, what happened? Wait, what happened last painting, episode? It's a painting of George Bush with two Jenga towers and a paper plane. Beautiful. And okay. it's, and it's, okay. That would be a question. Saved you just said let's not do this two episodes in a row. What did you mean? Last episode, we 
They you put, were they, saying a bunch. They of put things. words in my mouth. Oh, what happened? He was saying, Explain. I wasn't here. Um, I didn't see. You'll it. just have to watch the podcast. You'll just have to watch right, it. Right. You just have to watch. Mostly because I don't exactly remember, but we were just <laughs> shit out. So. We don't don't play our own. own I'm not gonna podcast. play the episode. I'm just pulling it up for reference so we can watch what we're saying. For what purpose? You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna kill myself live on air. So. What, the moment we get a comment that says you guys should kill yourselves, why are you bringing up your? We'll own do it on camera. Thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, co- I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna kill yourself for you. For you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, fuck, awesome. I'm gonna choke myself. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna all do it on camera. And we're gonna, gonna do it on camera. We're all legal now. We talked about that. That's yeah, kind of what brought about it up. This. Look at, look at my pants. I'll I'm be wearing the same pants, and it was just like outlining my fucking crotch the whole episode. Why would you point that out? Because yeah, it was I'm opinion. sorry that listen, I'm sorry that you guys I'm sorry my massive I'm sorry you guys, my massive cock was being outlined. I'm sorry. I do remember you guys talking about um that one other thing, uh the forty one. What was it? The thing on Reddit. It was like gay sex basically. Oh gooning. Yeah, gooning. gooning. You're just gooning yeah, live we were on just talking about that. Yeah. I fucking love gooning. Oh no, you know what I did? What did you do? I forgot the music. I fucking do? knew it. I told you. Oh, yeah, is the audio going to be fucked for the whole episode now? No, we didn't listen to anything crazy. Oh, it doesn't matter. We didn't listen to him say the n word, so we're fine, guys. Yeah, I mean, maybe by him, Michael Richards. Fucking shit. The only thing to clarify. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, what do you guys have to say? I I I feel like me and Breck have talked and gave a lot of like yeah. stories. So you guys, like, what's up? Yeah, basically, cool. uh, we're done now. So uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna sit back. Or you guys take over. Oh, what about the the thing, the old guy you were talking about? Okay, yeah. So well, let's let's talk about that. We was that in the you now what that the, was in the I remember. So when we were at the beach back in March of last of this year, uh, I think I think that's when you told it. I'm pretty sure when you okay, were talking about this right. guy. So we we had a last episode that I probably deleted because it was too stupid. I the, the camera didn't record, so there's yeah. really no point in keeping it. But uh, this dude called me, uh, or he had been calling me for a while, and he was like. He would call and he'd be like, "Hey, John, I found your number. Um, I hope your story so sad." It's it's, it's not, so, not it's, 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 it's sad. Yeah, it's it's sad. Sad. Oh yeah, you. Were, you I don't think really you were like there. That. I don't know anything about yeah, it. So it give some backstory. Strange. Okay, so but since they've never heard this, before. I just like got a call while I was at the gym one day, and it I like listened to the voicemail, and he was like, "Hey, I found your number. I know I used to talk to you and your wife all the time, but now I'm being taken care of by my niece or something like that." And I was like, okay, but I had nothing else to do. So I called him back and I was like, yo, what's up? Like, um, give me some information about yourself. I can maybe help you find whoever you're looking for. And then he just like rambled on, told some story. And I tried to extrapolate information. I think the person he's looking for has been dead for a while. Because I think I found his obituary. No. And then I forgot all about him. He's still in my contacts, though. And then like just Saturday or something, I got a call from him. And it was the exact same thing. No. Hey, John, I found your number in my phone. Dude, this guy's living in That's a so fucking time. Sad. I feel bad for his niece because she has to she has to probably deal with that a lot. Yeah. He's got some form of dementia, maybe. So he's living in a time loop. Yeah, yeah, it sucks because it's the I've he's called me like three or four times and it's been almost the exact same thing. That's sad. The, la- the first it time is. this happened was March. So it, it's been about what, like uh, seven months almost? Yeah, it's at least he's still, for seven he's still kicking it. I'll just say he's still kicking it. As long as I get a phone number from Robert, I know um, I know he's alive. <laughs> yeah, you never yeah. know. Is that, is that his full winter. name on, on the topics list? I don't know if that's his last name. His name is Robert E. something. Okay. Um, that I hope I it's not Lee. <laughs> I think it is Robert E. <laughs> Robert e. <laughs> he's still alive. <laughs> Robert E. Lee. Hey. Hey, John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> I'm trying to deal with <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It's connected. I found your number uh, in my my. In my almanac. Just trying to, my just, almanac. Just trying to figure out these damn new uh, fangled things. Uh, new automatic reapers. Uh, I was just wondering if you were still going to see that, do that play for Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Call me back whenever you're available. That's fucked. Yeah. Are you planning on like ending it or are you just going to let him do it? Killing myself? No, no. <laughs> no. I mean, are you going gonna- to? Are you gonna just like block his number? You no, gonna, I'm like, not gonna block his no, number. No, because he like, can call me if he wants. I'm not gonna answer. Could, I mean, nice. if he just wants to call to talk, I feel like yeah, he's old I, that's the least you can do. I mean, he I couldn't answer the, the one time he did call me, or I answered one time, and then I couldn't answer the most recent time. But if he does call, and I'm not doing anything. I'll answer and be like, "Yo, what's good?" And 
I definitely won't tell him what's happening because I feel like that's cruel. No, yeah. yeah, don't don't let him in on it. But I feel um, like if you did, if he wants to talk, I'll listen. I don't want to be cruel, but I feel like if you told him, he'd just forget about it again. Oh, forget no. about it. <laughs> I think I'm not gonna drink. Yeah, that that would that would just make him upset. I, I, yeah, it, it would. Don't do that. I'm but, gonna post this on Reddit. Am I the asshole for letting <laughs> this guy? I Minecraft parkour. It's gonna be someone saying, "Fucking, you are the asshole. You, you are should, the asshole. You should do this and this and this." But it's like, am I the asshole for killing my baby daughter and cheating on my wife? What? No, you <laughs> have... How did that come from? No, because it, the, some of them are, are like that. Where they're pretty bad. Like some, Yo, some shit. Like I'm no longer subject, attracted to. My... Like I hate my kids, and it's genuine <laughs> parents who are like, I regret having children. I wish I never. There's did. another one. Horrible. There's a horrible one. There's. This one was like, my wife has lung cancer, and I'm no longer attracted to her. It's I, so bad. I don't want to look at these. Keep that shit. Judy, okay, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I'm not looking at gay porn on. on it's this not podcast. gay, guys. We weren't, guys. We weren't looking at that. That was just on his search history. That like he just looked that up. That's unrelated to the podcast. Don't, don't hate don't. sports ball. That what a cringe fucking subreddit. I hate sports ball. White I can only Twitter. imagine what that shit was. Like, that I kind of want to see white people Twitter after this. I don't. <laughs> it's fucking. It'd be better than regretful parents. Regretful parents. Um, Ninety five thousand. All right, let's I, see. I don't want to read. Oh man, sort by top. Let's just see some top. Uh, of see top. all like, time. What does that mean? Uh, Whoa, what? Husband oh. final. Oh, this one's yeah. I uh, think I've seen this one. Whoa, ass Uh, are we gonna read this whole thing? I mean, it, I'm not gonna read the whole thing. It looks like husband ten, finally admitted to baby. They've been trapping. married for ten years and have three kids, and now she's stuck with her husband. Ouch. When for the child? Wait, <laughs> what is that doing on there? Wait, what? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, uh, the fuck autism one is uh, no. Iconic. Wait, what? Oh Wait, this my one. god! Yeah. I'm tired of people trying to make me feel bad because I didn't want to deal with this nightmare of a diagnosis. I straight up admit I absolutely did not fucking want a special needs child, which is why I aborted my oh, first pregnancy. Brother, there was a chromosomal abnormality, so I noped out real quick. Just got about every damn test you could with the second pregnancy, and everything was fine. But no autism. All oh I ever fucking God. wanted was a normal family. Is this so much to ask? My life growing up was walk on eggshells because of my mentally ill father, intellectually disabled sister. Then I was free, only get dragged back into hell. I'm tired of the extravagant accommodations and never-ending extra shit. That goes into autism. We're supposed to bend, bend over backwards to children who only care about their immediate needs and themselves, no matter what the fuck anyone oh else needs. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Oh, we get blamed. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking horrible. Okay, fucking dumb. This is why people should fucking grow up before they have kids. <laughs> Maga. Okay, that got pregnant from hell. a birth control failure and kept. Yeah, someone read this. This seems. I don't read. Why read it? My my college girlfriend got pregnant right before our last semester ended, despite us using condoms and her saying she would have an abortion if she were to get pregnant. She changed her mind because we live in a state where the uh, where they basically have to legally force you to try. And, and I hate treated. being a dad. So yeah. now I'm a dad. And I hate being a dad. I hate it. I, hate it. I, I get told I should have had a vasectomy then when I was 22 when she got pregnant. Good luck finding someone in our state who would give one to a 22-year-old. Secondly, uh, just because I don't want kids at 22 doesn't mean I never wanted kids. They were very much a not any time in the next 10 years, but we'll see how it feels after that thing. I think that's fine. Uh, I think being a 22-year-old fence sitter is, a, is fine. A lot of 22-year-olds don't really know what they want until 35. Boring. Uh Talk about how you hate your kids. Oh, he's just stuck yeah. in a red state. I have enough freedom. I'm sick of Paul control. control. I'm assuming that's what the maggot thing is. Sick of ba- bedtime battles and snotty noses. Oh, cry. Cry. Fuck, this is... Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's a lot. Go to therapy. Don't post it on Reddit. Yeah, what the fuck, fuck are it. the Redditarians going to do for you? Uh, well, give you... Uh, get it. You shall do this. Give you gold. Me, you as a car. person who's never touched a woman, thinks you should do this. There are 392 parents with children that are alive that are on this fucking Reddit page right now <laughs> yeah their kids are probably playing with toys and they're fucking ranting about how they hate them fuck all these kids all these kids of these parents should get together and make a, a another subreddit where they hate their parents regretful yeah. that would parenting. probably that would probably or go regretful children that all would right. go viral actually <laughs> i think that would actually go that would viral. make the game go viral look it's john pork <laughs> are you shocked am i shocked wait what 
I don't. This is just gonna be fucking Twitter <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is just white people Twitter. Is it, is it just, this is just this is just like when we went on um Trump's stupid ass social site back back in Truth March. Social. Well, True Social. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't I was on that. So oh, we can check out Truth Social oh, now. We can True Social. What yeah. do you want to do? It, it's not Truth, that. It, which, is Truth the the Democrat or the Republican? The Republican. Because it, it's Trump's website. But no, I, I I have to see it. Well, I guess we're not gonna be able to sign in. Wasn't wasn't Ray Sipe on this website now? No, Ray Sipe was, was never on it. He's on, I swear he said he was going he's on. He's on Tribal. He's on Tribal. Oh, right, the other one. Or the opposite one. I think we already logged in. Yeah, literally the opposite of Truth Social. Oh my god. Hey guys, check out my feet before you check out Truth Social. The attack on Israel never would have happened. How? How the fuck could you say that? If I were president. What? Because you would give them like oh, five billion more dollars? Like... Now that, okay. <laughs> There's something. Apparently, the U.S. has not. This isn't meant to be political. It's just something that happened. But they deployed their biggest warship ever to defend Israel or something today. There's got to be something. She, like what? I, there's some ulterior motive with the government. And give, not, yeah, there probably Israel. is. I'm there's, just like not to get conspiracy theorists. I think. I think objectively, like I don't know enough about what's going on in in the Palestine Israeli conflict right now to say who is right, who is wrong. I know that there's a terrorist group, and I know that people die. Um, you know, it's it's fight for like a, a holy sacred land. So. Yeah, let's see what's going on. I actually have no fucking clue what's going on. Hmm, literally. But I know it's strange that the U.S. gives Israel a fuck ton of money. Continue I, without supporting. Oh, you. Didn't do it. Uh, There's a way they they always put it in the least con conspicuous. Oh, spot. I've never seen that. I know you you have to look for him sometimes. Okay, um, I can't see because the fucking trap. I'm joking. It's fine. Uh, seven hundred thousand Palestinians um fled. Okay, they ended up in other countries. Israel um, I can't read. Drove it. Palestinians from their homes. Palestinians who stayed started the or. Put in the war today from the Arab Israeli community. Um, I don't oh, know. Literally. Give give me some better talking points. Yeah, I'm I, a child. I can't read. And we're on a podcast. All I know is that welcome to the podcast where four white guys talk about stuff they don't know anything really? about. Literally, <laughs> could have done research on this. I guess we weren't doing. I mean, I mean, about. I knew I knew more so about like the idea of the the Israeli Palestine conflict, but like now in the specifics of it, I don't really know exactly what's going on. I'm surprised because I'm surprised I don't either. I feel like a lot of people a lot of people are blindly choosing like either side. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I I really don't know what's going on, so I can't choose a side. Yeah, but like the people the people that I've seen yeah, like they, on the they, internet, they just, it's just like. We stand with Israel. We their stand favorite, with Palestine. If their favorite white girl celebrity supports one side, then they'll, then they'll support it. And you know what? I only make my decisions based on what white women post on the internet. Mm. So Especially if it's Taylor Swift. Yeah, exactly. I only base my decisions based off of 15-second videos on very complex conf conflicts. So yeah. if Did your you video know? is longer than 15 seconds, then I'm just going to disregard it. You're not going to watch it. it. Mikey. I, I, I knew what you were doing. No one heard it. Did you know actually Palestine and Israel are fighting a war? Wait. Really? They're using the bindi, <sighs> the bindi shooter. So apparently, seven hundred thousand Palestinians fled from their homes. Wait a minute. Why wouldn't they use ink? Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Ugh, something's not right here. Oh, shit. <sighs> Darn it. <laughs> use cum. We probably should have looked at white white girl Twitter. The cum then. shooter. Uh. That's oh. that's the update I want to see. What? That I would make that go viral. Dude, the cum shooter make from it go viral. Plants versus Zombies. You know what? Fuck fuck Palestine. I'll say this. It's amazing. Um. The, I was never into Plants vs. Zombies, but I was into that one game where you threw metal balls at like the the orange like metal bars. In my That's lip. only something you played throwing metal balls at. You get the pants. orange metal bar compared to fucking Plants vs. Zombies. Look it what, up. what? Can I look yeah, it up on yeah. Here? I, I want to find this because I'm not crazy. I know, I swear it wasn't just a, a wet dream. Or a dream Describe a wet, a wet <laughs> dream. <laughs> just a wet dream. <laughs> Here, you keep talking about stuff. Like Describe that, so. it again. What were you talking about? It was about? like metal balls being thrown at like these like metal platforms and they lit up and then. It, oh, brick breaker? No, no, no. I, uh, metal balls. Pong? Hit, like, or not Pong. Fucking Atari breakout? Orange. No, not Atari. Oh, another thing actually about that. So Atari uh, came out with a new, or is, is coming out with a new console thing. Uh, on my birthday, and I kind of want to get that. What is, is, is it? A, a new? It's, a, it's like a, it's console? like a, a revamped console. Yeah, look it up. Um, orange tiles. 
Uh, hot take here. I think Atari games are lame. That's such a bad take. Bad second. take. That is a very bad take. I think, I think it's kind of bad. I think the world yes. has grown up. I think there's that's the same. That's now. like so, that's like saying that's these. like saying ancient languages are bad because they're primitive. Maybe? That's an L opinion. Not be a... I mean, I like tic tac toe, but nope. I'm not going to play it if <laughs> okay. I can play like <laughs> Call stupid. of Duty. Instead. You've never played. How many Atari Wait, games have you played? I played a lot. I used to have one of the Ataris with like the preloaded 1500 games on there. Uh, when you're a kid and there's nothing else to do, it's fun as fuck. But now you're living in a time with fucking short form media and en- endless entertainment okay it's, it's you See, can't even then i would go steven. outside instead of play atari steven we can do both in blessed guitar i'm gonna kill you because because believe it or not there used to be a time when people didn't spend 24 hours a day on video games um, true okay i want to say something so were you in the boy scouts yes okay i was too me and michael l remember him yes um uh l. we were I didn't want to say his last name. <laughs> Look, at, it's it's Hi, cool as fuck. L. Uh, but basically, we were going somewhere, and we had like this built or not built in, but like we had like a car adapter thing. We played it on like these mini TVs in like my dad's car while we were driving or something. Atari games, and it was fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. we Atari had, games are awesome. Man. Me, El- Elijah, and Connor. Uh, yeah, we on his birthday he had like fucking an Atari thing, and we were playing it. We were at like a hotel or something. Damn. I remember uh, him coming to my piano practice for some reason, and because he was spending the night at my house. Like we, me and my siblings, when we practiced piano, was like uh, our teacher, or whatever. For some reason, for some weird reason, he just stuck with me and went with me while we were practicing, and he just sat for thirty minutes while I wasn't there. And just, really? Yes. And this was at um, a university, uh, and he just sat in the the university hallway while I was doing that, and he just. Didn't do anything. I think he was just sitting there the whole time. That's kind of so, funny. It's strange. I didn't know that about. I just about went, you too. I just what, what, what was only a one time thing. I swear. What are, oh, I thought he like did that like every day. No, no, no. That that was just like a one time thing. Oh, I think. okay. Well, that makes more sense. It's so weird. We didn't even do anything. Man. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, not really. Um, oh, wait, I just remember I he went to Germany that one time, randomly in fourth grade. Connor did. Yeah. Man, oh, fourth yeah. grade. And, That's like the shittiest time to go to Germany. And you want to know, know? But I think, and he got really lucky. You remember why? No. This is kind of me, uh, me and Steven's story, but do you remember when Cyrus? <laughs> you knew it was coming. Oh, Don't, I did. Um, wait, but, re-explain Cyrus. So I've, I've heard of him. I've never heard of this. So Cyrus you, is you, you, you tell him a person very near and dear to our hearts. He's he was sort of a wild card. Probably, uh, meant, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's, it's not him. No, fuck. You, you never remember. Who I that love is. that guy. No, you don't. You love the idea of him. <laughs> you don't even know his name. There is an idea of the Cyrus. But, I don't know. Cyrus is just this guy. Unhinged. Yes, unhinged. Towards basically. the end of his run. He was the at guy our- who jumped in the trash can and screamed chicken nuggets. <laughs> the full oh, trash can. Okay. Of course. I, I think I did that after him, though. I think I took after him. I did think, you really? I think I did at uh, after school care, if that's what it was called. Yeah. I remember jumping into a trash can. Did after. you jump into That's a crazy. full trash can? Though? I don't think so. I think it was empty. So okay, I'm I, I'm a pussy compared to him. I didn't do shit. <laughs> yeah, you didn't you didn't go near the but likes that he did to anyways, jump into a trash so, can. So our friend, our friend that it was me, Luke, Elijah, Cyrus, uh, and Steven. I think there was some, is that everyone? I think so. Anyway, um, so we're we all hung out with Cyrus uh, for about our, our entire time at our elementary school. And this one time in fourth grade, I remember it so so quickly i remember um we were like doing something with a dollar bill and it was like <laughs> hear me out it, we were 10 years old it was 2013 the illuminati on the dollar bill no, dude oh my do you gosh. remember this i vaguely remember so it. I, I i think i remember most of it but we were um in middle school at recess blacktop recess um and we were like we weren't involving him in this Illuminati inside joke. And he got so <laughs> mad. And you know what he did? He didn't get mad. He didn't yell. He cr- he went and cried to our fourth grade teacher. Fucking Me, cried. Steven, Dave, Luke all got in trouble. Connor literally left before she could confront him about it. He went to Germany and he was gone. Oh, so he, he didn't get in trouble. No, he didn't. So that's why he was lucky. But I do remember uh, that. And it, we got a talking down. And this was when um, our elementary school teacher got pregnant and was gone for half the year. Do you remember that? And it was, yeah. and she, and that other uh, teacher got mad at us for saying what the, she, she got mad at us. For, Wait, I, what? Just some random memories. From you were just saying what the, you were yeah. just like, yeah, what I the, said, I said what the, and she got mad at me. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, 
I was me and Serge were talking about old fucking. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Had, and uh, I told him about this one time when fucking. I wonder if I remember this. You might. This was a long time ago. Okay. It was like maybe first or second grade or something. I might. We were in PE and we were like packing up to go back to the classroom, and uh, I was like talking to somebody. Everyone was like talking, and then I like said something i don't remember it was just something completely normal and the teacher from like across like maybe 20 feet away came up like sternly came up to me and was like what did you say <laughs> did you just say the f word and i was like no i didn't say the f word i'm like a tiny tiny child i didn't say that i don't even know what the f word is eric did you say the f word did you say the f word and then she so my mom taught first grade at our elementary school and so she went to go fucking after the end of the day, when, when classes were done, she came back to get me to take me to my mom's room and tell her that I said the the F word. I almost said the N word. <laughs> I didn't almost say I said I almost said me as a child yeah. said the N word, but that's not Wait, true. Wait, what's the N word? Uh, Newports. Fucking. What was I going to say? Uh, you took, she took you back what to your mom's say? classroom. Oh, yeah. She took me back to my mom's classroom. And then she was like. Steven said the F word and he was, you can't do that. And my mom was like, oh, really? We're going to have a long talk after this. And then she left the room and she was like, I was like, am I in trouble? And she was like, no, you didn't say that, obviously. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Did you act? Do you remember saying it? No, I didn't oh, say okay, anything. Okay. Like, I, I, I really didn't say anything. I guess I was she, like, I was just like, mom, I didn't say anything. Okay. Give the mom. first. Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember the teacher? Was it a PE teacher? Williams. Fuck. No one knows Miss Williams. It's I guess it doesn't matter. But still, ever. dude, she was always the more stern person. But She's the other bitch, Miss, they were lesbians. I swear, they were like dude, you had a lesbian. Someone. You had a lesbian uh, PE coach too. Everyone does. We had a I, feel like I thought that was did. every teacher. I think our two PE. This teachers... got to be part of the requirement or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are, Are you a, pack a or lesbian? Something? <laughs> oh, wait, did you also have one that was like kind of fat but not really that fat? No, they were both pretty fit. Mine were both like fit. Married to men, and maybe they were closeted, mm. but well, they seemed like Patty and Selma, dude. That's our, awesome. our PE teacher seemed like Patty and Selma. Okay, well, the other one was an aunt, remember? Of yeah, of you know, who. yes, yes, I know who, I know who. <sighs> Do we talk about him or not really? I, 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 I have There's another some stories that I'm ashamed of that I don't want to talk about. I'll, well, this one doesn't really him. involve a shaming stuff, but this one kind of just is kind of funny. Wait, was this a guy you told me about the other night, Stephen? Is yeah, his name okay. Trent? Yes. Yeah. Okay, anyway, okay. Yes. I want to. Can I tell the story, please? Yes, you okay. probably can. So, if not, I'll, we'll just. Cut you'll it. Yeah. stop me. Um. So we were at recess, and oh my god, we still do this. I mean, you and I think everyone in the Galactic still does this. Wait, wait. Do you remember wait, this? Wait, wait. Oh, wait, I wait, forgot about wait. that. So we were surrounding Trent. God, this is. A do you remember this story? Do you remember this? It's a bad story. It's it's not, okay, it's, it's a not, racist it, story. It's not racist. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not even racist. Um, I, it, you didn't do anything. It actually, no, I did something. We all did. Maybe, I think it was you who I didn't think it was just anything. Dave. No. Okay. So. You want to tell it? <laughs> we were young. We, we were, didn't know what the fuck we were doing. We were kind of basically bullying this kid. And so we were like, he said, wait, what? Weirdly. We did. Oh, no. no he oh, said it and first, then we, then and we we started it. making fun That's of where him. It comes from. And literally prancing around him, like in a circle, saying, wait, oh, you know, my you know, we've been spinning GIF of the monkeys around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. It actually is what it looked like. Look but that's such, a, that's such a, like, look it up. If Do you he have things back on that now, he definitely won't be like, oh, that was bullying. That was some I, people just kind of fucking. I feel so bad. Because he's. The, the, and then it's not even the end of the story. It's not. I wish oh, it was. He mind. like spat at one of us. It was. It was Dave. We were doing it. it was totally Dave. deserved. He spat at one of us. Yeah, that's what we looked like. <laughs> <That's what laughs> dancing around and making <laughs> oh, fun this of this child. This isn't funny. We gave this kid trauma. Probably. I feel so bad. He probably still Sometimes has nightmares about it. We could have. Could have been worse. We were like second graders. Yeah, we were. But this second is a graders. very elementary way. We were like nine. Anyway, so but this, so he it. he spat at one of us, and we were like, dude, what the fuck. And we started, we didn't say that, but we were like, we were like dude, we were what are you out. doing? So we went to go tell the teachers and obviously we got in trouble. No, <laughs> we were I, don't me, I don't know if you remember, Stephen, I, I, I'm about to stench on myself. I don't know if you remember this, but I was the one that kind of ratted you guys out. They took me to the office and they were like, what happened? We I, don't, know you're I mean, good, we were fucking being shitters. We were so, being shitters. I, I, I had to rat you guys out. I remember seeing you all sit on like the... Uh, the hallway of the of the office waiting to get called in. Me and me and Serge were talking about like we how we get it. We get what? it. I'm just we messing. get it. 
Oh, oh, I, f- I forgot I was circling that. <laughs> oh, were you? I, I, thought, like, you were, I, I thought you were trying to like, let us know. At, and I, at, at first I was, and then I just got used to doing it. For the viewer it. who can't see it, who's like circling the time we've been recording, I thought he was like telling us, all right, wrap it up. No. Come <laughs> on, guys. <laughs> I forgot Lights I was out. doing that like two seconds into doing nah, it. I, never mind. I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to fucking jump off the balcony tonight. I don't remember. You were telling Serge about the... We were on the balcony talking. We were talking about yeah, we were talking about how we don't yeah, jerking off. Jumping off. They were jerking off the balcony. The so jumping and jerking, <laughs> squirting and flirting. Okay, we we, uh, and gooning. And gooning. But we were fucking I was talking to Serge about how like I don't remember I remember every moment. <laughs> <laughs> we're every trying moment, to get her to stop. We're making faces. Every moment from school that I like vividly remember, it's always some like I always remember getting in trouble, like, but like never. Kids are kind of psychopaths. I feel like no kids no, are definitely no, psychopaths. Kids, it's like fucking psychopaths. I remember like getting in trouble. Okay, this, specifically my mom. Like my mom and dad were like really pissed at me. This was just at my house. It wasn't like a school story. My mom and dad were really pissed at something I did. I don't fucking remember what I did. They were yelling at me, and this was probably when I was in like third grade. So I was just standing in the living room. They were yelling at me. I was kind of standing like this with like both my hands behind my back. <laughs> Obviously, I can't do that with my oh, mic. God. But uh, I was just standing there. And and then halfway through their yelling at me, I realized, wait a minute. I don't have to listen to what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> just like, you so you gain consciousness in I the middle of I literally just it. had the thought in the middle of them screaming at me for doing something <laughs> bad. Like, wait. I don't have to listen to them. I, I was like, I had my hands behind my back and I was like, I can just like play with my fingers and imagine something like, <laughs> like, like a little stick figure or something. Oh my God. So you, you gain consciousness. I gain consciousness. And then f- maybe 15 seconds of me not listening at all. I realized that I can't do that and that I should listen to people <laughs> when they speak. Cause yeah. then I'm not going to know anything. And they're going to be like, what about. did I just say? Yeah. And then I'm going to be, a, a, Oh, what did trouble. I just say is the worst it's question. It's so bad. You're especially like, in school. Uh, especially, but, especially if you phrase it in a different way than they said it, then yeah. they're like, well, ah, well. you know, you're a kid. You don't want to repeat word for word because then you're selling like a little bitch. Yeah. So you're like, yeah, you, you kind of have to rephrase it a little the bit. Autism was shining in our elementary years, I feel like. I'm going to say Fair a word. Autistic. I'm going to say a word, Stephen, and you're going to stop me, okay? It's the N word. Parkour. <laughs> yeah. No. Parkour. <laughs> we, we were like. Oh, in God. like second grade, we we like oh. loved trying to do like parkour shit and jumping around the. And we gave them ranks. We didn't have we didn't That's have just a playground, bro. School thing to do. That's we didn't have yeah, a yeah, playground. Yeah, yeah. We, we, did, had we a had a blacktop. We had a playground, but that was only for like the first into kindergartners. Wait, seriously? So yes. the rest of like the when when you got into like second and third grade, you and got up, to go on the blacktop. You just got to go into basically this big ass fucking parking lot. It was kind of fun though. I, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of fun, but like. This kind of like realistically, a shitty... we probably would have been better off with like a playground. Also, and, did like, you have, like basketball things. goals or something? Uh, we did. Remember, it was behind. Did, it was behind that giant. Dude, fence. we never got to play on we those didn't. because uh, they were like just in the area that it's, you couldn't yeah. play in for some reason. Only until we got into like sixth grade or something, and then oh, we yeah. just like decided, hey, let's fucking just go over here because it's like maybe two feet away from where we're wait, supposed to be. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I remember matter. what it was. So. After kindergarten, I don't think we even got recess. First grade, I think we could go outside, but we couldn't go on the blacktop. I think that was like a third grade thing. And it was definitely first grade when you, you had to go in the you really? got to go on the playground. Well, the playground, yeah, but just not on the the big area. I know we're talking about childhood stuff, but it just came back to me. We're not bit. allowed to talk about that on the podcast. Yeah, Did y'all not have like an inside gym? We did have an inside gym, but we never used it for like recess. Yeah, My, that was I, the same for us. I threw. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it just depends. Up through middle school, it would just kind of vary depending on the day as to yeah. if we went outside or if we went. Maybe yeah. for like bad weather or rain, we went in the gym. Yeah, we definitely did that a lot. I remember that. I remember the last day I was at uh, my middle school, I got to play um, a tag with a bunch of kindergartners. For some reason, the PE teachers love me. Riz? Playing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was awesome. But... Back to the uh, park Words horse in your own mouth. We we basically gave us ranks. Ranks. I don't remember this. I remember so this. ranks. This is gonna be crazy. Yes, parkour ranks. Like parkour, <sighs> parkour apprentice, parkour god. Oh, oh, you remember it now? No. I remember now. That's, that's so middle school though. It's so that's so, it's so okay. That's and such a young I remember thing. you doing like a you you Dude. always. I remember every day in middle school, you would always wear like a hoodie or something. I would always wear a hoodie. And, so deep. But this one particular so time, deep. you had it pulled over your head and you were like, 
the whole time because you were like a parkour god a parkour god <laughs> yes you oh that's awesome no. i remember us being in a call and talking about it and you were like you were like telling begging me to stop i, I remember that oh, that shit's you, fucking funny what are you doing we were actually super autistic. We, dude, I swear. I, but we're just kids. It's shot, it's Every just kid is. is like stupid. My kindergarten years, I remember I was, uh, we went to a Catholic uh, middle school. We, uh, and we, I was at mass and I was doing shit with my hands in the aisles and I got in trouble. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure one you time. Get in trouble. We would get in trouble for the most stupid for being shit a child. Like. Okay. We were just talking about this the other night. Anything you do that's like childish, you get in trouble we for. We started school. remembering just trying, like how shitty like the stuff we got in trouble for was like yeah just get in trouble for like nothing I it, it, it's sorry it's fucking strange it's strange that we're like brought up to like be more mature and then when we, when we are more mature then we're like seen as disrespectful yeah yeah like that, that, that's like the, i feel like a, a big like culture shift that's happened in the more recent generations yeah. it's fucking strange it's also strange how like i mean i guess i, I understand you know children you you got to make them conform because otherwise okay. they're just gonna be little shits and out of control but like now you can just fucking walk around and say fuck everywhere do, yeah, anytime dude. you want. You can talk to your friend and not get in trouble for talking to your friend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, right. I, I do remember I think this was pretty valid though for my kindergarten teacher. I remember we had this thing in kindergarten where we got to pick from a treasure chest. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. just I feel like everyone had that. Fuck, I, I didn't. I had that shit. The if you, I wasn't in your it's like either yeah, you are. You were in the other one. If you did good in some shit, or if you like didn't get in trouble, or some shit like that. I and I remember. Oh my god, I remember with the item too. Um, but <laughs> you remember shop? the you still holding grudges over it? No, no, well, not really. But I remember. Not what, really? <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I remember what I did. So I was only supposed to take one. No, I took, I took two. No, I, uh, I basically I How took. How dare you? <laughs> I took two compasses, two tiny compasses. No, and and then fucking Ruby, Ruby tattletailed on me, that and no. I got Bitch. in trouble. No. I got in trouble for lying, and my parents grounded me. And I remember, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Jackson sorry, just man. yelled at <laughs> his <laughs> video like game. A person or something. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> got really mad that I disrespected them. <laughs> that's so dumb anyway i remember (laughs) i remember vividly getting grounded and not being able to eat my dinner with my family and i'd eat it in my room and i remember the hype though not not as a kid not when you're like a fucking young kid like i I, I ate alone basically in my room and i remember swiping the the goldfish crumbs off of my pillow because i ate on my bed (laughs) (laughs) that's like that's what it all connects it's funny you mentioned that because like me and serge when we were talking about it the other night we were like we, we were like uh Parents obviously like lose control over you when you grow up because their punishments don't work anymore. They'll be like, "Go to your room," and I'll be like, "Okay, gladly. I'd love sure, to go." Yeah, to my room. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to be chill. here, bitch. Like, I don't. I just want to chill. I wouldn't call my mom a bitch. That's mean. I call my mom a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say something bad, we're just she, she's mom. listening. Yeah, my mom listens. She just walks in. Yeah, um, my mom found out like early that there was some shit she couldn't do because if if she put me in timeout, I just like. Not literally play with myself, but literally. I just like, play by myself <laughs> in the corner. I don't fucking play with myself in the corner. <laughs> you didn't need to say it like that. Oh my god. Fuck. There's Shut also it. a point where like I got spanked as a child, uh, which I'm not like, oh my gosh, that was an awful thing. I won't do it, but you know, it's not like yeah, it wasn't it didn't normal. fucking scar you. Like. Yeah, but like I got spanked as a kid, and you get around that shit. You put on like extra underwear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You put I was, on. I was. I was too fucking to do that i, I, I found that. out pretty late to do it but i found out you put on three pairs of underwear when you know two. your mom's about to spend i was you. too fucking stupid to think more protection there are some there are some things where it's like oh my god i'm stupid like I, like what the hell was i thinking like i'm trying to think of specific examples but i can't remember I, I have one where i was stupid as a kid say it it was in second grade and you know how you have the uh the color-coded like uh fucking your behavior yes yeah the green yeah. the green yellow red light so i got i got like fucking red one day i was a little shit when i was a kid <laughs> me being a little shit i was like okay i don't want my parents to get mad because you had to write it in your agenda and go show your parents over oh, there. Yeah. You get it signed off i fucking i i went over it with a black crayon and i tried to sign that shit <laughs> out and then and then the teacher saw me doing it and then she was like what are you doing i was like uh whoa. And, then I, and then i got home and my parents were like what did you do i was like uh whoa, um <laughs> i was just like trying to do anything for them not to see that shit and of course like of course it's fucking obvious when there's just a bunch of black crayon yeah. over. autistic black crayon all over the dude oh 
Oh, shit. That's fucking funny. No, I remember um, I, I just had a, a thing in my my head and I, I forgot Which it. Which head? Hmm. <laughs> Later, maybe. Fuck. It was another middle school story. Um, Man, I'm so stupid. I completely forgot it. I remember, I say this, uh, I was in your mom's class, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, I remember one time... Uh, I, I just spit on the carpet. Just spit on the carpet in the like, middle. Yes. Like you just went. No, no, no. I, I not spit. Drool. I drool. Oh. A giant thing of drool came out of my mouth onto the carpet, and your <laughs> mom got really mad at me. Wait, did she like yell at you? I think she just took me inside of class, and and she like. Did retched. she? Did she ever like get really mad at you guys? Ever? She was. She was nice. I, I think it's because. Tell me if she got mad at you guys. I don't, if she was, I don't remember. But I think she yeah, was I don't nice because she knew we were friends, probably. But um, I just also um, I just had a something else and I completely forgot it. Um, but yeah, middle school was kind of funny because that was when shit started picking up. I remember, I forgive, I don't care anymore. But I remember you, Dave, Luke, and Trent and Cyrus, you took my lunchbox and you threw it into a trash can. <laughs> Do you remember that? Because <laughs> yes, that's Vaguely, funny. Spoke. I don't remember. Or, I don't. Jack. I jm jm j fucking m oh i i just God. remember that uh you guys took my lunchbox and you threw it into a trash can and i cried did you, did you sit with us when we um like this was like seventh or eighth grade when we i'll just tell this story i told Sergius the other night we we sat in like the kind of corner mm-hmm. and like behind the teachers belly. behind the teachers and then like the rest of the lunch people talking, were there are you talking about the thermos the thermos, yeah. So what we would do, the, the 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 wall was right here. We would sit like here, and mm-hmm. there was like a little ledge oh on the wall god. where the lost and found <gasps> would be. Oh my god! Uh, so we would like get thermoses from the lost and found and fill them with like extra food that we had, and like let it get rotten. That's fucked. <laughs> so, so That's that, so fucked. So either people would find their lost and found thing filled with like rotting food, or like someone else, would or we would just like see how long it could rot and like no. I thought you get. Were, I thought you were talking about JM's thermos that was like bad are you are you about to talk about that i don't what are you okay. talking about so i don't remember so, that. so so there you know how you just said there was a ledge of stuff right with thermoses on the yeah water. yeah so our friend our dear friend jm here is a dear friend word. jm um he basically had he every single day at watch <laughs> <laughs> thank you he basically brought a thermos of food like it was either filled with beans or soup or something. Um, and <laughs> one day I'm soup pretty, to middle school. That's weird. I think. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, there's like, what else are you going to really take in the thermos though? Yeah. That's not the oh, most yeah. outrageous thing. For I real. was going to say, but basically uh, I think we, I think I know you guys bully. We, we, we all bullied each other. I think that, that was just, we were all just day. little shit kids for real. But, and so for JM, what, what his punishment was that it was, we took his thermos, we hit it. We never told him where it was. And it was still full of food, oh my gosh. mind you. Oh, yeah, we did do that to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we basically hit his furnace full of food, or furnace, thermos full of food, um, put it in the ledge where he couldn't find it. Mm-hmm. Five years later, we're all still friends somehow after this. I don't get how Jam was still with us. But he's he, still with you. Still, yeah, we I, I, I think, I don't, remember, I don't remember who found it, but I remember just one day, I'm like, is that James thermos? We go over there, we look... The food is like it's still there, but it's groggy. The food is uh, like fuck. And there's a and there's a fucking like smell and and miss and um, Caroline's mom. Yes, found, was like what? Are you so guys? it was that thermos. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I told that story wrongly, I guess. Because well, what so, the fuck? Well, I mean, the same thing applies. We did the same thing. Did you but do it, was it on for multiple occasions? It wasn't a yeah, stranger's. That's thermos. hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, it was our fr- our our friend's thermos, and I remember it because I remember recognizing like that's one of your thermoses that you thermos. just never. We were like ecstatic to find it because we forgot. We were about freaking it. out, and I think that's what got her attention. We're like, "What are you guys doing?" And then we hand it to her. She's like, "Okay." Did we ever get in trouble for that? We <laughs> no, didn't. We, ne- we never. We, we never were like, la- weren't we like really laughing our asses well, off? Well, we over can't. There? We can't really get in trouble for finding old food. I guess. Yeah. Unless, unless we also we t- might have just lied and been like, "We don't know who this is." <laughs> yeah, probably. I just remember. That's what I, think I feel like we've told this story in the podcast. One more, and then we can move on to something else. But the the carrot bottle. The bottle. I feel of we told this. Carrots. Have we told this? We've story? told this story. Okay. But I think it's funny. Basically, Long story short, this yeah. little shitter kid who copied the, us in the grade below us copied us by putting baby carrots in like a cold water Dasani water bottle. <laughs> but we were like filling it. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. It's so we funny were filling though. the water bottle with baby carrots to like as much as we could. And then uh, 
some other people on the other side of the lunchroom started doing and it. This little fucking my shitter dude. kid named Eduardo. Oh my god, <laughs> I him. forgot who it was. You no, know, and and I'm pretty sure this was like months after we did it. After we fucking found yeah after shit. we found mm-hmm. it and then and not only do the teachers see it but everyone sees it the whole room goes silent and she's like hey because what's that yes because fucking caroline's mom fucking she taught us a little bit in high school too mm-hmm. but everybody knows her she's a i don't care she's not gonna say this. she's a bitch, she's a <laughs> <fucking> bitch. <laughs> but anyways she fucking like yells at this kid Eduardo from across the room. She gets get over here, and then he he, he and like, it's funny because we were like, "What the fuck is going on?" He shimmies over with the fucking he, carrot water it bottle. Is the funniest fucking thing. We were like, "What the fuck <laughs> is going on?" What we the lost hell? it. What could he have done? And he's like it's melancholy walking over with this bottle full of baby carrots. We started, <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting back there. We were like dying laughing. Like, we we were we were losing equally breath. As, we were equally as pissed and like fucking entertained because we we had done that shit. We didn't get in trouble for it. We didn't get in trouble for it. It's funny that she got so mad at him and just like basically called him out in front of the entire lunchroom <laughs> of like four different grades of kids over like baby carrots and a, and water, a water bottle. bottle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And they were like I'm I'm telling you there there was like 40 of them in there. They were small. <laughs> that was a pretty <laughs> It was the funniest shit because it was filled to the brim and like there the was water no was still cold so it was like condensating on the outside. Just the whole <laughs> fucking every aspect of it was so funny. Like, I think if we could go back and watch so that happen, we'd lose it. So dumb. I love <laughs> she it. was just fucking screaming to this she just screamed at him like, for the whole in trip. front of everybody. <laughs> everybody went silent. And we were like, what the hell happened? And everyone just started laughing too. They, <laughs> dude, yeah. Everyone was Mom fucking was laughing at him. He, this kid was like I think this kid was probably like twelve or something. He was in seventh was grade. Years, Jesus. I think it was in seventh grade. I thought we were seventh and he was six or something. It might have been. I think that's true. It was middle school and she was just yelling at this poor 12 year old. I wouldn't say poor because he was very well aware of what he, he did. He was a little shitter. Yeah, he, he was. He was annoying. There are some fuckers. Out carrots in a water bottle. That's, getting berated that's some shit that. I would do. It's the funniest fucking thing. You that's know what's crazy? Lovely. You can put carrots in a water bottle now and walk around fucking the streets of where we live and no one would give a shit. No one would. Like, no it one just would wouldn't even be out at that abnormal you'd be like that's weird no I, one I will, I will give you. credit where credit is due caroline's mom basically made that thing like entertaining <laughs> <laughs> that's why she's like yeah, yelling cause she at fucking him. yelled she fucking she she thought like this kid murdered someone but it was just a carrot full of baby did, fucking did he get in trouble i think so for, I, for fucking when you get, listen this one teacher when you get yelled at by her you're getting like a, a you're oh, getting ran up something's but, happening yeah pretty much i've I, never met her but i've only heard bad stories she was at so our high school school sometimes so she did she annoying. did that um food for her journey yeah she was i the, heard that she did that she, but. yeah but uh she smoked a lot um which is kind of ironic because another story actually if that's fine no yeah no, you're not i know what, I know what you're stories. gonna say and i already i told serge about this. i've never i don't okay i've never heard so of this person when so. we were in seventh grade i think she was teaching us uh english or religion i think both actually mm-hmm. and 8 a.m in the morning we are we know we're doing our thing. Her humidifier is going off. We can smell it. Oh my! She always had the humidifier Her running. Humidifier? I think, yes, I know this. Was it was, it, was it like was style. it like it wasn't with oh, essential oils or anything? Yeah, essential yeah. oils. Okay. Trust me. She let you know that it was essential oils <laughs> oh, and not fucking okay. anything else. I just remembered something. In her room, she had this fucking printout piece of paper that said the Asian smile, and it was just like uh, a. Two dashes and like an underside colon. I just remember randomly thought of that. Wait, the Asian smile? Yes, I'm not even kidding. That, that was now. on her wall. Yeah, Look it what? up. Look it up. See if that's a thing. There's uh, that can't just be a thing. It, it is a thing. I wish it be. wasn't because it's very racist. That's so like, Asian smile like poster. I don't know. Yeah, it was. Consist- it was a tiny piece. You remember this, right? Yes, I remember. Now that you say it. No, oh, mm. that's just the Mr. <laughs> yeah. Beast. That's the Mr. Beast sticker. Do you remember that? Oh, it's not even here. Oh, it, it's not. It's whatever. basically just a poster it's, with it, like. I a, think I literally think someone was it really like, like an emoticon? Dashes and like an, an emoticon. It was. It was. Yeah. It was literally just. Da- mm, no, no, it wasn't that. that. It was more like the the dashes. Well, now this sh- is in my search history. So <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, but it was. I just randomly thought of that because the humidifier was literally like inches away from this thing. Anyway. So the humidifier is going off. We're doing our thing. We're learning about fucking like how to structure sentence or whatever. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's somehow the hardest shit, even though English is not that hard. But anyway, so we're done. We leave class. And then we get oh, – towards the end of class, she saw – is that is that is that acne? Or no, acne. Fuck. Acne. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was the axe. axe. It was axe. Yeah. Is this is – is someone wearing axe? And she's like – that was it. That was it right there. Go back up. 
Yes. That one? And it was and it was flipped. It was like straight up. And How was is this the Asian style? I don't know, but that's no, just what it, it was. was. Uh, what, are you sure it wasn't I one with it, like dashes? It was like it was like but an annoyed person. But it said on face. the it poster. Was like the eyes were straight like that, like you're squinting or something. What? I'm not even joking. <laughs> that's so fucked. Imagine if those eyes are squinted. That's uh, what it was. Jesus Christ. Anyways, continue. That's fucked up. So, so towards the end of class, she goes like, <laughs> is someone wearing an axe? And mind you, I get it. Okay, you're Context. Alert. That was it. It was that? Yes. And it was... And it wasn't even a circle. It was just those three lines. So it's just, on the it's paper. just actually just racist. Yep. And it said on the poster of the Asian smile. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I would insane. not have been able to remember that. She is a white woman. Yep. Very white. <laughs> the whitest. And white okay. Christian woman. Hmm. Continue. Anyway. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So, Anyways, for context, she's like apparently deathly allergic to perfume. Or axe specifically. Well, I guess axe specifically. Yeah. I guess. I, I don't remember, but it was I've, axe. I've heard this story so many times. It's, it's so, so funny because basically. Um, so she's allergic to Axe, apparently. <laughs> she, pro- she probably is. I'm not going to... You're not going to say that she's not, but... Like, but I, I remember her making a fuss about it, and she's like, all the boys, ordeal. get out! She tells all the boys to just <laughs> yep. leave. Uh, go up to your next class. All the girls, you stay here. And then every... The class, um, like, we had, a, we had like, two Wait, what, 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 what grade? Seventh, I remember. Seventh grade. Yes. And I remember because... Um, uh, we had like another period, like we were sw- like, we were switching classes at that mm-hmm. point. Yeah, we were switching classes, um, and we we all went into this class with everyone else, like all every the entire class except for our classes. Girls were all still in Caroline's. So mom's- just like all the eighth, all the seventh graders, it wasn't like divided into any class. Like yeah, all like the she seventh- was like weeding everyone out. No, it, w- it was just our like period girls. I remember it because yeah. we were, there were girls in where we went to. Anyway, so we were all upstairs. We're waiting to see what happens. And then I kid you not, 15 or 10 minutes later, all the girls come up crying. I'm not even joking. Like there are tears coming out of these girls' eyes because what this fucking teacher did was pretty, it was pretty, I feel like it was pretty, like, it was traumatizing. I feel like because she went around every girl, like (laughs) every single girl. I'm not even joking. Sniffed them. That is fucking weird. Guess who it was? Who? Her daughter. Yeah. (laughs) It I'm was not her even daughter. Noticed. It was her daughter. Yes, it was her yep. daughter. That's funny. As how, did, how did I've never heard past that point? Did she find that out? I think. Yeah, I think. I think, think we so. heard it. I think we heard it from. But someone. you know what's funny is because that is the time we all started to figure out that she fucking smoked cigarettes, and we were like, "That's kind so." Of in our heads, she was just this big fucking uh, ambassador for being the best person. Like you have to be perfect. I don't know. Whatever. Like, like I don't know. Don't. Yeah, she's, she's very, reli- ass, she's very person, religious. religious, fucking annoying, and so we all started to fucking pick up on the idea that sometimes she just smells like cigarettes, and that <laughs> and that she fucking pumps the fucking we we connect we we figured you out pump? that we, she pumps the humidifier all the time to mask up the smell oh of my cigarettes. God. Oh my god! So the word started to spread, and then she got I can tell she got like embarrassed or something because like. Eventually, she knew that everybody knew she smoked. Mm-hmm. So like, at that point, all of her fucking credibility was just destroyed. I, Any amount of respect I had for her was I gone. Think that's funny. I think we were the last class to see a whole year of her teaching because I think in eighth grade, whenever we went into her classroom, there's always like a sub because I don't think she was teaching that's it so after funny. that. She eventually went on to like do like a Catholic food truck business. She still smokes. There's no humidifier to hide that now. <laughs> but, <laughs> But basically, basically, no humidifier powerful That's enough. Such a nice little. All these homeless kids are that. gonna get like cigarette ridden like sandwiches or something. Like <laughs> it, it sucks. Just don't smoke while you're making food. She like, hands them a sandwich and they like <laughs> yeah. smell bad, and she's like, ah, oh. it's like ashes on it and shit. You you get what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it, man. Come hey, on. Hey, I wouldn't I wouldn't be too disappointed if there was a cigarette in my Sammy. <laughs> Full cigarette in my sandwich. That'd be huge. The, yeah. new, the Newport sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Was, I'm trying to think of one other thing she did. I, I no, there was one time. I this was in this. seventh grade or eighth grade or something. Mm-hmm. I want to say eighth grade. But we were like in her class. We were all just like everyone was kind of talking, like murmuring. We weren't really doing anything. I was like near the door and her desk was near the opposite corner in the room. So mm-hmm. I was like here. Yeah. And she was like over here. I was talking to luke about like this bullshit i saw at Publix, and there were like shrek wet wipes and i was I like i was like first you might not have been in the class I, at the I time, might not, yeah but i was talking to luke i was like dude i saw this thing at Publix the other day it was shrek wet wipes but it was like it said 4d on it so i was like what the fuck they just i was like 
Why would you make Shrek wet wipes? Why would you make? Why would you want your wet oh, wipes so to smell like Shrek? Like shit. It's, I guess. So it smells like I was just. I was just swamp. And yeah, like, I don't know. I was just talking to Luke about the absurdity of that, and then in the middle of so everybody's talking, right? Everyone's like having a conversation. Mm-hmm. I'm not being particularly loud or anything. From across the room, she calls me out and says, "Stephen, I would." Love to hear more about your story about Shrek wet wipes. <laughs> I'm trying to do my work, and, and then so I fucking lock eyes with her across the room, and everybody starts laughing. And I'm like, uh, for no <laughs> reason. Okay, I think you want to know what I think it was. She just wanted to embarrass me in front of everybody. What I think the hell? it's because we, um, our friend group was kind of like opposite of her daughter's friend group, and I think uh, that's probably what it was. True. I feel like it wait, is. wait, wait. So, she, so she was allowed to have her daughter as her student. Mm-hmm. At is that, that point, that, well, that must at, be a practical no, no, no. thing. At that point, she was because we were switching classes. So yeah. every, like, she we were swapping between four class. different teachers. So, like, like, she would get her for English, but nothing like, else. Like, okay. when his mom taught first grade, he wasn't in her class. I wasn't class. in her class. Okay. I wasn't but since we were allowed to switch, I think. Since we were switching, everyone was going to every teacher. So, oh. Because I know, I know there's a thing. Like, I remember I went to an elementary school with my cousins. Or yeah, yeah, and but they didn't want to like put us in the same class, and then like the same with yeah. uh, I know some like siblings in my school, like they weren't allowed to be in the same class, some shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know why. This is like a weird. Rule. I think it's it's I don't know. It's definitely a little weird, but it's like I think it's for the younger kids, like so they don't like get favorited or something. Yeah, that's true. No, I, I feel like true. when you're older, it's like fine. Yeah. Also, I just want to say that um, our also dear friend Nicholas. Oh yeah, he knows <sighs> Nicholas. Um, whenever his mom subbed teachers, I'm going to say this because it pissed me off so much, but every time someone was mean to this Nicholas character, he would go, I'm not even joking. Eighth grade too. He was eighth grade. Eighth grade, 14 years old. Okay. Readily aware of what he's doing. Every time he gets bullied, um, made fun of once mildly. I'm not even joking. Like the the single like just somebody just like saying something. Like, <laughs> they're just like they like mildly laugh. They're like <laughs> he starts <laughs> crying. Like I'm not no, face bro. red crying. And whenever his mom subbed, he would go hide under her desk. Oh my god! Years old. Not only that, but Dude. he would also kind of be an asshole to her. Oh, he was always. He'd an be. Asshole. He's like a South. He's like stop it, mom. No, nah, <laughs> I could imagine that. I, it, I could imagine doing that's that. That's so funny. And one then, one more story. Sorry, were you? No, you're good. No, I was just saying like. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. What were you One saying? more story about Nicholas. Oh no. One time. Leave that out. Me. Oh fuck. It's fine. It's fine. One time, me, Luke, and Nicholas were sitting in like the corner or something, like You're, just oh, on the floor, and Nicholas had like gym shorts on. <gasps> <laughs> so <laughs> he was, so imagine he's on the floor and he's sitting like this with his feet up like that, like against Wait, the floor. No. Oh, this is something else. I'll, I'll say I'll say mine after. Yeah, he had gym shorts on and he was sitting there, and then Luke looked over. He he saw Nicholas's balls hanging out oh. from his shorts. Ah! <laughs> okay. No. no. This is another thing. There's no. Another thing. I, wish, I wish he no. got better, but it didn't. At our eighth grade like graduation party at school or something, we went to the park, and I kid you not, I don't think you were there. I think I would have remembered you if you were there. But this motherfucker is like, you want to see one of my pubes? And he literally goes under his pants and grabs <laughs> it and shows it. I remember you telling me about that. I'm not even joking. This kid literally showed us one of his pubes in like 14 years. I'm trying to get us a thumbnail. Hold on, hit him with the. <laughs> <laughs> but he literally showed us one of his fucking pubes at 14 years old. That's Dude, a- that's that's such a fucking 14 year old kid thing to do. Especially That's- this Nicholas guy. He he would literally do it all the time. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You wouldn't do that shit. Bro. I have a fucking 14-year-old pube story. Okay. Um, what? <laughs> whoa, whoa. You know what? Not, not, not you know two what? episodes in a row, I'm going to kill myself. Two episodes in a row. Uh, Never mind. Donnie yeah. would tell us that, and I don't know the the, uh, validity of the the validity of this, but Donnie would tell us that he would, when he got pubes, every time he saw one, he'd fucking pull them out because he didn't have a razor to shave oh, them. Oh my god! So he would like, it seemed genuine. He would Grab a clump of pubes and rip them out, and grab another clump of pubes and rip them out. What? I, I think, think that's it... how he shaved for at least a, at least maybe once. I don't. Honestly, I, like, I, that's it's probably not true, seems, but I'd seems, love for it to be true. That seems like a Donnie thing that wouldn't be true, well, and he's like fucking with you. No, I feel. I don't but know. also, 
feel like I don't know. Donnie's kind of like a wild card a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like you never really know. All I know is that I feel like as a kid, you just you. Well, I doubt he. What do you know when he did that? Did he say what age? I mean, it. He told it to us in middle school at some point, seventh or eighth grade. I, I don't know. I I guess I maybe like he he never got taught to use a razor yet. But I feel like at that point, you just ha- got to do it. You know, just pull him out. <laughs> you don't have. You to. can use scissors. Well, I yeah, use I scissors. I feel like, you know, when you're like 14, your pubes aren't like really fully pubed out yet. So it's like that's true. I feel like mine because I probably I, I, didn't. I, I guess I don't guys, know. Like, let's show our. Let's I remember. Our pubes I remember actually. I was in a cod lobby and I was talking about pubes. I was like fucking 12 or 13, and the guy was like, "Yeah, you haven't hit puberty yet until you got ass hair." And I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh shit." Yeah. I was like, "That that exists." I wasn't ready for the ass hair. The ass hair. Yeah. Ooh. That's why I nair. You nair? Show us for it. Three episodes in a row of nair. But I (laughs) think nair reference. I genuinely use like a nair type substance. Type substance? Well, it's a powder you mix with what? I'm not explaining my. See, this is new to me. I don't know. No, I I have an extra can if you want to use it. Okay. (laughs) Sample. Can we uh, give product reviews on the podcast? All right, yeah, and we can have a before and after picture on the podcast. No, 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 we can make it educational, like that one guy just bleached his asshole. The nair guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's his name. Well, I don't know his (laughs) name. Well. That is he the has a name he's now. So, for. He's like, he's uh, made a name for himself. Yeah. Here's, how, he's like, here's how hairy my ass is. Translates, translates or Taylor Swift new album. Uh, right now, Taylor Swift new album, but or something. I don't know. He he literally. I, I'm not kidding. Look it up. I, I'm not. What crazy. is that? So he does these like comparison things on on like TikTok or something. And, oh, did he say new Taylor album over trans rights? Yes, but he's and, a gay guy. Or, so it's a he joke. He might have said right now trans rights, but it could change. To, it could to, change. Yes. brother. I'm not watching that. We're not watching video. how to come bigger loads. That tastes <laughs> your man. That's actually fucking. I feel like he's gonna go down the route of. J- I feel like he's gonna go down. Andrew the felt, felt some type of way seeing that that <laughs> header right there. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a full. Co- no, <laughs> is that Poland or is that Indonesia? Wait, go down, go down, what? go down, right there. I think that's, that's Indonesia. Poland. Small penis. What does Poland have to do with that? Well, uh, in, the flag is the flag, in the flag is left. Yeah, wait. But, I don't know if that was the Polish. Look, at, look up I think the Poland flag. flag. It, it's look look up Poland you versus know. Indonesian flag. You should Shut know. Up. I know. I did a, a seventh grade. Oh, it's Indonesian because I think red was on the top. Yes. Yes. Um, See? Hmm, okay, really. yeah. But really. it's Monaco. Or Monaco? Oh, Monaco is like shorter, I guess. Go back on the thumbnail. I don't know. I don't. Oh, oh, boo, we're looking at flags. I'm assuming it's Indonesia. Let's just watch the Nair video. I don't want to watch it. him bleach his asshole. We should just end the podcast. Yeah, we should it's just Indonesia. end our lives. So we're talking about Nair again. I don't Ain't wanna... no douching the visual guy. I don't want to watch this. Sex Toys 101. No! Times. I'm sorry, Nair. <laughs> Oh yeah, I feel like he's gonna go. Uh, <laughs> okay, oh, okay, that's, okay, that's based. That's, that's kind of funny. Why is um, based? Nobody talked about that. So, well, that was probably a while ago. But what was I gonna say? Fuck. I feel like he's gonna go down the route of J- James Charles. Just, just a, just a gay guy getting a lot of views, and he's gonna something's gonna happen where he's gonna get canceled. Yeah. He's still James Charles is still still I mean, going at it right now. He didn't get uh, canceled I'm, for showing his ass. That's the that's not canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, just, he was okay. Like, but what is then? I mean, kids what is could watch well, that? Yeah, yeah, but kids don't have to watch it. But kids, kids can watch kids porn on their phone. That's like saying kids don't have to get abused by pedophiles. I, uh, I, I mean. Have you ever clicked on like a Rick Roll type link where it turned out to just be like gore or something? Yeah, but yeah. I'm not saying. I mean. That, that Why would a kid watch How to Near Your Asshole? <laughs> That's fair. Because he's never heard do the you word think, asshole Do you think life? someone would get canceled for cutting their own arm off on YouTube? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, because that's gore that's, versus asshole. But that, well, gore versus asshole. No, 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 there's obviously but it's a grown man's asshole that could be possibly shown to kids. Yeah, but if, could, if there's a possibility, then but you could it say you still can be held to the same stars. accountability. I mean, you can watch porn on your DS. Like, Fuck, like, we've talked about porn three episodes in a row, too. Yes, but this is a public website, though. So is Pornhub. Yes, but this, <laughs> like, but but, like, but, like, but you're not but you're not but you don't go onto YouTube expecting to see no asshole gapage. I mean, I, you don't. I, I just feel like that that video is not getting recommended to kids, anyways. That's true. That's true, but still, it's the possibility exists, so he should be held to. I mean, the same I show me didn't get canceled for showing exactly. His speed. That's what I'm saying. I think uh, I show which me, is arguably worse, which like, is definitely is, worse because he flashed him like. Uh, no, I, he didn't mean to. Fly. He definitely has children. I guess if he, he didn't, can we listen to I Show I Show Meat song? I never watched it. 
never look up. I, put up I show you song and we'll we'll, we'll, and end, we'll the end the podcast. One more thing I want to say is that um, I think any parent that doesn't give their children the only, f- access, <gasps> only access only access the first one. Uh, YouTube kids should be the only thing kids should be looking at in any forms of YouTube. I feel, I feel like, like because just... at that I know how fucking stupid it is where they do like the tomato tomato and like the <laughs> or, I, it's hard to explain but like it's it's like just a stupid kids website but I mean it's better than just like full black YouTube where any, like you could see anything if you if you're gonna make your kid watch them make them watch like a TV show something that like has yeah. quality yeah, control I'm that's what I didn't watch, watch like a YouTube TV. video until I was like ten but it didn't exist until we were like. Well, well, no, it exists before. It, it, it 10, started it coming 20. out when we were growing up, but like it wasn't popular or anything. Yeah, like yeah. I didn't, I didn't really understand what YouTube was until I was around like I seven just, or eight. I just watched Minecraft tutorials the whole time. You True. know how people uh, said that TV is gonna rot your brain when you were a kid, and then then we came out with Skibbity Toilet Ohio. I think, but I think, I think we got out in the right I time. I think <laughs> Oskibbity Tio is the same thing. You're saying it's like really stupid, which it kind of is, but it's not going to like ruin the generation. Anyway, let's listen to this. I always assumed it meant literal, like your brain rotting and dying, but it turns out it's just you're an Uh-oh. idiot. Wait, watch him actually show it. They're not going to show it. Fuck. Oh, damn it. Damn Here we go. Fuck. Me. Such a good Jeez. video. This I use a- that fucking meat to make meatballs. <laughs> Fuck, I'm fucking starving, awesome. dude. Meat I, man, too. I haven't eaten all day today. We have to uh, show the meat. So this is I show meat to dad. Yeah, it's his real show dad. The meat. Why is it so groovy? Show, show the meat. Fuck, I'm starving. It's like Del the Funky Homo Sapien type of shit. This is such a funny th- Like, imagine your dad drops this shit after <laughs> your dick gets exposed. I mean, Oh, he reacted to it. So it's he... so fucking funny. I show me. I, I show me. 